Park, Hogs Gone Wild, grand finale, round number one of Hot Street on the racetrack right now, Tom Soup versus Chuck Ray. Costly? Let's hope not. Remember guys, an elimination. Two bikes come to the line, one goes on, one's going home. Joe Gladden's got a buy out of A1. Looks like we're going to be on hold for one second. Not sure what's going on. And you heard Joe express his frustration. Jesus. You just ran a road Jesus. course. Jesus, yeah. Well, the nice thing is all you got to do is break the beam. Yeah, it's a street class, but I mean, they are race bikes. I don't care what anybody says. Break that beam, my friend. You're going to the next round. He's worried about how hot Give this a like, let your friends know. We're gonna be live for the first round of eliminations. We've got Pro Street coming up where A1 Mike leads the way on his Nitrous Road King. We've got so much action. You know, Geronimo is here. The whole team is here. Everybody ready to go. We saw this fine young man working on his motorcycle hard earlier today. Oh, uh, no, I'm sending it. I don't know what an easy pass is. <laughs> so no break in the beam for you. What are you aiming for here? What would 970 make you something. 970 something. You feel like this motorcycle? I'm time chasing. Has I'm time, huh? Is it cool enough? Are it's you worried about the, the heat that you put in it? With no, those? it's a street bike. Street bike, he says. He's not worried about it. Gladden was, he's not. He's going for 970s. When we done, watch our hot Oh, he says it, it is a bona fide true street bike. You're welcome, Steve Nichols. Thank you for finding us, Mr. Max ECU. We appreciate you greatly. And uh, we were live earlier on on CycleDrag.com Facebook. We're live now on CycleDrag YouTube. Such a unique event, guys, too. The motocross races are going on right behind us. We took you for a little walk through the pits. Chad Reed is here. That's actually his motorhome over there. We'll try to catch up with him later on. And it looks like a lane swap real quick for Geronimo. Remember, he's going for 970. So everybody in the comments, over or under 980. Why don't we put the over under at 980? Let us know what your pick is. When you got a squeak bike versus Number one, the number one guy, Scott Thompson, right. just popped his motor. That goes to show the fastest man ain't always going to win. That's what's oh, racing about. Wow. Now, technically, Thompson's going to advance the next round, but yeah. he's probably not going to be able to make the call, huh? Not going to make the call. Uh, he's Unless 11 he points ahead motor of spot. everybody. Uh, I think somebody's going to catch up with him now. He had 11 point lead. Emmett had what it take to beat him. But Emmett blew a spot plug out on the street ride, so that's what happens, guys, with these bikes. Like, if you call it a street bike, make sure it's a street bike. We're going to find out if Hogs Gone Wild. Yeah, we sure are. Yes, well, sir. thank you for the update. That's Roger Edrington. This is his series, Hogs Gone Wild. We started our season here back in February. Now we've already made it to the grand finale, the points finale. One more race left. It'll be a non-points event, and that'll be coming up in Gulfport, Mississippi. Hope to see each and every one of you there. But as we talked about in this class, just like who remembers the street bike shootout days in AMA Pro Star, they used to have to go on a road course. And a lot of times, some of the racers would drop out. These motors are running so much on the ragged edge that they can't endure a road course. But Geronimo told you he's not worried about it. 
he's gonna go for some 970s. And behind him, Pro Street coming up. Like I said, share us on your favorite social channel, whoever wants to see Pro Street, because the world's fastest, no Willy bar, street tire Harleys are coming up next. I did, man. Nice job. Spitzmiller's flying. Dwayne Gee's ready to turn on the wind light. And we do have Mark Frick in the staging lanes. Oh, wait, there he is right there. How you doing, Mark? Good luck to you. Thank you, sir. We've got the talented Steve Nichols watching on. Anything you'd like to say to Steve? No, that last pass was 896. Um, everything went good. We're going to turn it up just a tad bit more and see if we can do it a little better. Man, we wish you all the best. And the technology on these things is just amazing. So you're able to download and then communicate with Steve via phone, send him the graphs, and you guys can make all the changes. Yep. He's in charge. I'm just riding it. I mean, it's, Thanks, sc Steve. it's scary to think what's next, yep. right? Remember when they used to have to tune it by the seat of their pants? Yep. Not no more. Not anymore. Good luck to the Thanks, boogeyman. Man. He's coming up here in just a little bit, guys. Don't miss him. We'll give you a look through the lanes. Also got to say congratulations to Jeremy Justice, a personal you, best, 949. I think we got a chip draw going on right now for Pro ET. Right, Roger, he still gets 60 for breaking the beat. Yeah. 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 And uh, so obviously it's going to be a little while in this cleanup, but will you guys sit with your dancing partner and you'll please make your way to lane number two. So when we go back hot, you guys will be Making it happen. Round number one. All right. Oh, going the other way. I get the last chip. I'll take the last chip. Don't worry about it. Ken Kobe, what you got? What 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 chip did you draw? Three right. Now I'm very sorry about your luck here. Was that Pro ET that you weren't? No, Street ET. So pros where you want the championship, right? No, Street ET. But I I I buy back, so we're still good. We're still in it. So you still got a chance. Can you oh, yeah. earn points as a buyback? Uh, I don't know. It all they all say it starts after the second round. So going in the third round is when everything happens. A buyback. Okay, so you still got a chance for that championship. Oh yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Right. Oh, good yeah. luck to you. Good luck to you. As it looks like we got just a little bit of cleanup, guys, after Tom Sue grenaded a motor. So thank you for staying with us. Thank you for liking this video, tagging some friends. In just a few moments, we're going to bring up Rogue Street, Harley Davis. Here comes Geronimo. He's going to make his pass. Let's go see if he can make it into the 970s. We hit the reds there for a second. Gonna do a little cleanup, touch up. Yeah, we gotta steal in the right lane for the transition all the way down. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so we got a big spill in the right lane. You guys tell me, you want me to take you through a journey in the pit area, get some inside information on these motorcycles, or you want me to end the broadcast? What do you prefer? Brian Evans, just rewatching the two stroke. You liked our two stroke video from Martin? I'm glad you did, Brian. We actually did two of them. One was mainly just sound, so you could crank speakers. The other one was the actual race. Make sure you guys check that out. Also want to let you know, if you like Nitro Harleys, we've got a ton of coverage up from last week, Rockingham Dragway, that you really got to see. It was awesome. As the Pro Street bikes are ready to go, let's see if we can talk to our number one qualifier over here, A1, <laughs> Michael, <laughs> B-Land. Watch out, Joe, you're on camera. Uh-oh. Hey, one, I gotta ask you a question. No. Is this gonna affect your- Oh, never your, mind, you're not on camera. Is this gonna this? affect your decision for lane choice? Are you gonna- No, we're stuck in lane choice, we draw chips. That's right, so no, top qualifier does not get to pick. 
No. We don't have qualifying. We don't have qualifying. We draw out of chips out of a bag. You just straight it's up, even in the, the pro category. All luck of the draw. So you can be the number one qualifier based on time, but there's no advantage to nope, that. None. It is a random chip draw even in the pro category. Yep. You like that? I do. It's fun. It mixes it up, right? It. Well, this is the theory behind it. If a guy's a half second behind and he comes to like eight races in a row with a qualifying ladder, he gets his butt kicked every race. Sometimes you get a lucky chip and might get somebody slower than him instead of qualifying at the bottom all the time. So it keeps more people coming. Makes sense. Good way to boost participation. Yeah. yeah. How about you, Jeremy? You like the chip draw or would you prefer qualifying off a ladder? No, I like the chip draw because you never know what's going to happen. You know, you, you get a lucky chip, you get a bad. I mean, I drew uh, Mike, and it, which is a terrible chip draw for me. Or I mean, for him. But uh, <laughs> yeah. no, I like the chip draw. I think it's good. What do you What do you guys think? Chip draw, liking it? Like it? Like it? How about the you? The slowest guy is not always meeting the fastest guy. They get discouraged. It's cool. Do you think NHRA would ever explore a chip draw? Absolutely not. But well, let me give you an example in the street class that just ran five bikes. The chip draw never comes out like a real ladder. The chip draw came out exactly like a real ladder. The number one qualifier got the buy. Number two, race number five, and three and four raced each other. Isn't that crazy? Just by luck. Unbelievable. It's like going to Vegas. Yes, it is. Except we can win here. That's right. <laughs> Helps to be lucky. House always wins in Vegas. A1 hoping he wins. A1, for the casual viewer, what is the key to getting the most out of one of these Harley-Davidson street engines? Practice. Practice. So you're saying it's mainly the rider? No, it's rider, tuner, setup. But it takes years of multiple bikes and multiple guys working, like, like the team, Street Kings and us, we have a bunch of guys. We get to draw all the information. Like the pro stock guys have two cars or three cars. Everybody shares the data. Everybody gets faster. That's amazing. It's amazing the advancements you guys have made. You know, watching watching Mark go in the eights with a naturally aspirated. Two years ago, 990 was a fast bike. Now you're on 890. It's like a whatever. You're like 10th on the list. It's scary where it might be going. And you got the Street Kings over here, Dwayne. You know, Dwayne has come so far. When I saw him back in February at this racetrack, he was shooting dipsticks out. His first win was against me at uh, 710. Late last year, yep. first round. First win against me, first round. He didn't know what the win light was. <laughs> he didn't know what the win light <laughs> now he's, was? Now he's like beating yep. me on a regular. Last night. Well, congratulations. Dwayne, how much fun are you having out here? You know, for people that might be on the fence about coming to try this sport, how enjoyable is it? Oh, it's changed my life. I love it. Love it. It's well, what I enjoy most. It's a labor of love because there's definitely a lot of work involved, and it's one of those things where you really have to dedicate yourself between yeah. the travel, the practice, working on the bikes, traveling to get here. I mean, there's a lot of things that go into this, isn't it? And you got to run across the right people to help you, for sure. Who do the street can't? Maybe you can't even tell me, but do you guys have your own shop that you work out of, or do you have a yeah. private guy that you go to? No, we got our own shop. You got your own shop. Who's yeah. the Who's the head tuner? The head mechanic over here? Uh, Hammer. Hammer. Hammer in Orlando. Wow. So everything works out of Hammer Shop. Yeah. That's cool. In Orlando. Well, you know who Orlando is, right? Oh, I thought you were talking about Orlando, Florida. No, no. Oh. Oh. Oh's name? the one that you filmed with Scott Thompson. Okay. Oh, that's the, please, would you give me my money that you owe me, sir? Yes. Okay. <laughs> that one. I remember that. That one. I remember that. Yeah. That, that's the only one. That was one of the thing. most watched uh, videos on YouTube. And... Any exposure is good exposure, right? We got people watching the sport. Yeah. There was 30 seconds of a, a minor verbal altercation followed by a lot of great races. So yeah. It was wonderful. You know. It wasn't that too. It wasn't that bad. Roger called me and said, is this really the picture we want to paint? I said, hey, you know, we got, we got to give him a little bit of, a little bit yeah. of pizzazz, a little You're bit of press. juice, we right? don't leave not, no bullshit out. But I think George Bryce was questioning the video. But, you know, I told George. It didn't get out of hand. Great rivalries is yeah, what, what built NHRA, Everybody right? Everybody gets heated. Everybody loved, loved it back But don't come talking shit in my winter circle. There you go. Not even you. Not even. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta watch. We gotta watch. It could get feisty over here today, guys. Send help if you don't hear from me. Well, good. How long do you think this track cleanup's gonna be? 20 minutes. Good Lord. Yeah, I don't know. I don't see 20, any equipment. 20, I just see a room. I think 20 more. You think more than that? Oh boy. Well, you guys stay cool. We're going to roam around the pits for a second. What do you think, Cycle Drag YouTube? You want to take a journey around the pits and see who's here? I told you we'll bring in the first round. I don't want to go off and come back on, though. We do that all the time on, on Facebook. Oh, the tractor's coming out. That's a good sign. Benny pulling double duty. As I told you guys, what's really, really cool about this event is 
there's a motocross race going on right next door. And for those of you who follow motocross, supercross, you know the name Chad Reed. This is Chad Reed's setup right here. It is so cool that, that he's here with his children. He's doing a wonderful, wonderful job uh, grooming them, much like we see Brian Deegan, some of these other racers. There is the thunder from down under. Chad Reed in the house right now with his children getting ready to go at the motocross races. So check in, check in, check in, guys. Let me know where you are watching from as we'll give you a little walk around the pits. You want to go through the pits, Brian? Okay. I want to know what would you like to see? Who's a Harley fan? Who's a Kawasaki fan? Who's a Suzuki fan? And I'll start trying to pick out some special motorcycles for you. What I need is everybody to please hit like. I need somebody to hit the super chat. Let's get the super chat party started here. And before too long, we will take you back to the lanes and get you ready for first round of eliminations. It's coming, I promise, but we grenaded a motor and that's the unfortunate part. This of course is the pit area of Mark Frick who we talked to moments ago. He actually brought the bikes back, letting them cool down for a big first round coming up. Steve Nichols is watching us on this broadcast and Steve is the head tuner. He'll take a look at all the data with Team Max ECU and get him ready to go. A lot of people taking advantage of this as a lunch break. What's for lunch, Larry? Got a hamburger and fries. I love it. Now, Larry, are you going to get a rerun on that last run? I don't think so. Ah, I'm sorry. Sorry about your luck. There you go. Larry, it's all drag racing. That's drag racing. Here's what happened with Larry, unfortunately. Uh, Larry had the wrong dowel and remember as a racer you got to keep an eye on that the role is if you stage with an incorrect dowel and you have accepted that dowel and what was really tough about Larry is his wife's telling me they somehow changed the dowel Steve Nichols blasting us on the super chat for $50 Steve you are too kind you are too too kind this broadcast brought to you by Max ECU for sure ladies and gentlemen and can we get some congratulations to the expecting couple, Randall, and his lovely wife, Ariel. What this we is got? Case's baby. I don't know why everybody keeps saying it's mine. <laughs> we need to talk to Casey. He's down there. You need to ask Casey about it. Ariel. <laughs> Ariel. Something's going I don't on. discriminate. <laughs> you never know what they're going to say during a live broadcast. Sorry. Shout out Madison, Wisconsin. We do have JB Cycles here from Madison, Wisconsin. Uh, I know Dark Side Performance was working closely with Andy on this Suzuki Hayabusa. He's really picked up today, doing a great job. There he is, there he is, Andy. We gotta say, how you doing today, sir? All right, man, how you making out? Good, man, it seems like you just keep getting quicker and quicker on this Busa. Were you able to get some issues ironed out? Yeah, um, Jack would help me out. What, was, what, did he, what did he help you with? Air pressure and the air shifter and Tire pressure, a couple other little things. And he's got you going eights. Yes, sir. Good job, guys. That's Jack from Dark Side Performance here all the way from California. Somebody wants to see that old school GS. All right, we'll try to find it for you. And here is why we are down, ladies and gentlemen. Tough break for STFU. Really, really tough break. Still in it. We're still in it. Yeah. Do you think you can get it fixed? What? Yeah. What was the leak? Oh, guys, breaking news. We got to talk to Scott Thompson. See, we had talked to Roger. He already assumed you were out and done. No, I uh, drove the bike around. It was leaking oil. I just rode it in the grass. That's why it's all nasty. So it's just an oil filter? Yeah. No internal Tighten damage? It up. No, no internal damage. Excellent. Excellent, yeah. guys. How about that? STFU keeping his championship hopes alive here today. We thought he was done. No, he's not. He's got a lot of time to wrench. Get it ready. He's gonna have to clean that oil off. May need a few cans of cleaner, spray down the engine real good. But he's got time. And that's a wonderful feeling when, when STFU can stay in competition, isn't it? He's in the hunt. We thought he was done. Roger yeah. thought he was done. Well, I gotta go tell Roger. Just an oil filter. I gotta go tell Roger. Where's he at? Wait till you hear this one, guys. Thank you guys so much for joining in. Thank you for Steve Nichols for hitting our super chat. If you guys can do that, please do so. Roger, I got breaking news for you, man. I got breaking, that's all, breaking don't worry about you. Here's the breaking news. We talked moments ago how Tom Sue was done. He just blew the filth off. He just, said he gonna be ready for next round. He just blew the filth off. So he had to bring the bike back all the way 
from the ass end of the track with no all. So you'll see how far they're gonna get. But he's uh Scott, the he's bad. He's, he's bad. On, he's on a mission. He's on a mission. We'll see if he can get Let's it done. See if he can get done. All right. Oh, looking forward to it. We got the fans out. It's hot. Weather's beautiful here in Georgia. Where are you guys watching from? Check in, check in, check in. If you're just joining us now, as I see, we're getting over 100 people in the room quickly. Guys, we got first round of eliminations coming up in Pro Street just as soon as we get the track clean. We are on hold due to this unfortunate incident with STFU racing. Stop that. Are you worried at all about having to ride the bike back with low oil? No, didn't hurt it. Perfect. How much oil does this bike hold? Five quarts, and how low was it by the time you got back? <laughs> Haven't checked it yet. Okay. Well, not up to the dipstick. Track cleanup can't be that bad compared to what they do with top fuel and funny cars, right? We've only there's only a possibility of five quarts on the track and we know there's still oil in it. So it can't be that bad. We can't be down for that long. Yeah, no, we're good. So this will not be a lengthy delay, guys, and we appreciate each and every one of you following. Man, I was catching me. Uh, you sure were, Chuck and Chuck Reagan. I told you one of our big supporters. How's the day going for you? I just got out ran big time by Scott Tomsu, but uh, the day's going great. We still have the rest of the day left, and I'm going to test the tune all afternoon. And Scott, unfortunately, oiled the racetrack, but he's going to fix it and get back in it. Yes, he is. He sure is. And uh, I guess let's pull for Scott. There you go. Good luck to you. Yes, Chuck you. Reagan, let's take you for a walk around again. This is Hogs Gone Wild. We got a motocross race going on. We got JB Cycles in the house here from Wisconsin, I told you. And look at this gorgeous Busa. I love the stance of this machine. Slammed with a Brox pipe. Voodoo race components. The one and only Joe Perry's Harley Davidson, ready to go. He's got the cycle drag sticker looking good. These gentlemen are ready. Where's the barbecue at? Who's starting the barbecue? That's the big question is where is the barbecue? If you guys were with us earlier today, live on Facebook, we watched a horrific happening with the Hayabusa. Luckily nobody got hurt but it broke the swing arm, cocked the wheel, sheared teeth off the sprocket, punched a hole in the cases. It was ugly. I think they've already put that high boost in the trailer. No. Oh, it's down there. We might have to go take a look at it. Could have been lack of maintenance. Could have been a wheel bearing failure. We're not exactly sure, but anyhow, if you go to cycledrag.com, Facebook, you will see that. Tough play. How you doing? We were talking about that horrible incident on the Busa. Here it is, guys. You can go back to cycledrag.com, Facebook, and check it out. But look at this. We got a cracked swing arm. Okay, we had the Randall put a, a ratchet from Harbor Freight in lieu of an axle to get it off the racetrack. It cocked the wheel, sheared teeth off of the sprocket, pitched the chain, and also broke something in the cases. It might have been the chain. We're not 100% sure. We'll see if we can find that beautiful old school GS you guys were talking about it's work underway VIP parking down here so many fast beautiful motorcycles Geronimo what was your ET on that one huh? what was your ET 679 how about in a quarter uh, I got 624 and 970 Nine, 979. that's what you said you wanted to go into 970s Good job. Thank you. Good job. There's only one. I only, I've only got one. I got guy. one. One piece of bad news for you. Tom Sue's not done. Hey, man. He said, he thought we That's thought not he bad done. news to me. He's putting an oil Because new oil if food. I win, I want to run the best. You know, and everybody that came here today was heavy hitters. Everybody was in the nines. So it's a tough clash, and it only takes one hit, though. That's right. Well, good luck to you. All right. Good luck to you guys. We gotta be moments away. Like I said, not a whole bunch of oil. How you doing, man? You are live on Cycle Drag YouTube. You guys are live on Cycle Drag YouTube. Good to see everybody. Having a good time. Let's get you back up to the store. I owe you stickers. I am totally out. Come see me in Valdosta, all right? I dropped the ball big time, guys. I'm, I'm out of stickers. I gave them all away at the AMRA race in Rockingham. I have more at home.
from my friends at Decal Works, Decal MX, and guess what? I dropped the ball big time. Forgot them. Need to buy more, which thanks to Steve Nichols hitting up our super chat, that's what we do. We use that money to uh, buy more stickers and hand out as many stickers as we can. We like to do that. All right, let's get you back up. Who wants to see some racing? Who's ready to see some racing? And who has not yet hit like? Please drive us over 100 likes if you have not yet liked this video. If you have not checked in where you're watching from, two things I need you to do. Like this video. Come on, 54 likes. We can do better than that. We got more than 100 people watching. And also let me know where you're watching from. We're on the road, as we have been, every weekend since July 4th. <laughs> July 4th is the last time we took a weekend off. And uh, it's been go, 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 but it's been fun. We're traveling the globe to bring you the best in motorcycle racing. And that's what we aim to do, ladies and gentlemen. Shout out Madison, Virginia here. Shout out Southern Maryland, one of our XDA friends, Zach. Good to see you. When are the shirts coming back? Good luck, Zach, I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. I talked to Jason Allen from Pro Things. I said, are we stuck on one of those boats outside of the LA Harbor? He said he thinks so. The gas gas getting cleaned up, ready to go. Beautiful. Guys, as I mentioned, motocross and drag racing side by side. Getting ready for some big motos over here. Shout out to Matt Walker, the former pro putting on this race. He's done a wonderful, wonderful job. It's just a beautiful, beautiful day for racing. You never know who you're gonna see. Hi, sir, what's your name? <laughs> My name. It's always nice to see a legend walking up, around. Man? Ladies and gentlemen, the doing? one and only Thunder from Down Under, Chad Reed. <laughs> you having fun Watch with your family? Watching bikes, yeah. That's great. It doesn't get any Being a dad. Yet. Doesn't matter who you are, you gotta be a dad sometime. It's awesome, man. Yeah. We'll let you get back to it. Cheers. Good seeing you, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, he is the Iron Man, Chad Reed. Thunder from down under. How about it, guys? You never know when a AMA Hall of Famer is going to pop in, right? Montana in the house. Montana in the house. All right, we we're getting close. We are getting close, ladies and gentlemen. Track prep almost underway. I think Victor Gautier is ready to get this party started. Vic, we were so close. And then unfortunately, we think it can't be more than five quarts of oil because that's all Tom Sue holds. And he's still got oil on the bike. So it can't be that bad, right? No, it only looked like six. Six, it only looked like six. Well, guess what? Tom Sue's not done either. We checked with him. He has a loose oil filter. Yeah. He's gonna tighten that bag up. And try it again. That's all you can do. That's all you can do, right? Yep, try it again. He won, right? he won. He won the round. So Thompson will be back. Good luck to you guys. Coming up here in just a little bit. This is Hogs Gone Wild, ladies and gentlemen. You guys want to look at some of the motocross bikes? I told you we just saw uh, Mr. Chad Reed moments ago. How cool was that? And there is Hammerville. Head tuner for the Street Kings. We're live on Cycle Drag YouTube. Dark Side performance in the house. Dark Side, we talked to Andy moments ago, and he said, man, Boost is running great. You guys got her tuned up, huh? It's just a little tweaks, right? If I have my laptop, it'd be better. Oh, well, there we go. We'll have to get you up to North Carolina for a dyno tune when he brings it over. How about that? I'm, I'm already, I'm getting them busy. Hopefully we don't take away Hopefully we don't take away from his Netflix time because we've already got him like 10 jobs. So. <laughs> welcome, welcome to the East Coast. You liking it over here? Yeah. yeah. California native. How much, how much fun is it to spend a day with a motorcycle drive? Yeah, and first of all, the weather is beautiful, right? <laughs> Everyone's super friendly. So I like it. Awesome. I like it. Looking forward to it. Jeremy Justice ready to go. Hey, we have an update. Oh, yeah? Yeah. 
We have breaking news that we just discovered through our pit report. Roger stood here and said Tom Sue's done. Tom Sue said it was only an oil filter that was loose. He's putting it back together. He's going to make it for the next year. I hope he does. I hope he doesn't oil down the whole track again. Yeah, that'd be nice. So, Jack, I got one for you. We're eating breakfast this morning at this tiny restaurant in the tiny little town of Reynolds, Georgia. One stoplight down, and an old gentleman comes up to us and pulls his phone out, and he says, Have you seen this? And he shows us a cycle drag video. And he's showing us, he's like, you got motorcycles on your shirt. Have you seen this? That's so cool. So how cool is that? Was it on YouTube, Facebook, TikTok? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. He was just showing us the video. Always curious to see where people are following us. Because, again, you can follow us on all four. We got Vic Angle checking in. Thanks so much, man. So, Jeremy, we're looking for a 949 or better out of you? Yes, sir. I hope so. Uh, every All my last passes have been uh, personal best after personal best. So, uh, you know, the, I'm racing the big man now, so I got to try to turn it up. And that's what he came over and said, well, you have to turn it up if you're going to race me. So we're going to do best I can and, and just have some fun. That's coming up, guys. We're moments yes, away from first round of elimination. Shout out New Zealand. We'll have to tell Jack something here real quick as Jack is continuing to confer with Andy on Busa data. Jack, do you know who's watching us right now? A gentleman named Vic Angle says Vic, hello. Vic, what's happening, brother? I think Vic says he's in charge of the shop now that you're gone. Vic, you got it for now, brother. <laughs> Jack coming back, tune his bike. There we go, shout out Vic. It's just you and I now. Uh, Jack Robinson, officially an East Coast man. He says it's, it's ours till Christmas, so I don't know, Vic. Maybe we'll throw a wild party. Maybe we'll watch some cycle drag videos. Have a bunch of fun. Killmaster, shout out Killmaster. How the heck are you? Y'all seen it, she was up there on the stills with all the stuff and I pulled the front tire for her trying to help it. <laughs> well, I see the tractor coming off, so it should not be long now, ladies and gentlemen. Cycle drag on a roll worldwide. Thank you, Brian Evans. Brian Evans, why don't you let us know where you're watching from? Vic likes the new shades. Thank you so much. How about a shout out to Wild Cycles, Wide Cycles in Tennessee? I can do that, especially if you hit the super chat, you get a real good shout out. You got to hit that dollar sign like Mr. Steve Nichols did and sending us $50. I'll tell you, because of Steve, we were going to go to the Waffle House. We might be going to Outback Steakhouse tonight, courtesy of Max ECU. If we can find an Outback Steakhouse in Reynolds, Georgia. Thank you very much, Steve Nichols. Do appreciate you greatly. And here is the new motorcycle of Michael Beland. Thank you very much, Kenneth, for your nice comment. We do appreciate it. We need 20 more likes to hit 100, guys. Can you get us to 100 likes? Got to say congratulations to George Bryce. He was able to run a nine second pass on buck moments ago and how about this gsxr over here you know who this belongs to this belongs to the one and only robert brandt 22 a day end soldier suicide that is what it is all about ladies and gentlemen end soldier suicide How about this, the Honda Rebel in the lanes as well. Honda Rebel turned on a wind light too in round number one. You never know who's gonna turn some heads out here. You can win on anything if you're consistent, you can cut a light. This Honda Rebel is certainly no exception. So first round of eliminations coming up. I promise you guys that. I promise, I promise, I promise. Unfortunately, as soon as we started the YouTube broadcast, Tom Sue oils the racetrack. That's why we're on hold. That's why we're on delay. But that's the magic of YouTube. You guys can stay with me. What, what a rebel. How about a little ask Jack anything? Any questions you've ever wanted to ask me, fire away for the next couple minutes. Ask Jack, cycle drag, anything. And then we will get to eliminations. If you're watching this on demand and you're entertained, awesome. If not, you can fast forward ahead to the racing action. Um, if everyone... If everyone hits like, we may be over the one. That's true. We're 17 likes away. 16 more. Come on. Drag Brazil in the house. Also like you guys hitting the super chat. I greatly, greatly appreciate that. That is for sure. Staying cool. It's hot. Las Vegas, Nevada watching us. Thank you very much. Greg Delicate will be in Las Vegas, Nevada next week for the NHRA race. Wrapping up the season. 
what was my first street bike? The Lizard Rock Den wants to ask me. It's a question I have to think about for a little bit. And the reason I have to think about it is straight street bike, easy, easy answer. KZ1000 that I bought when I was in high school when eBay first started. Drove all the way from Pennsylvania to Indiana to get it. But prior to that, I did have a street legal bike that I rode in the dirt. It was a Yamaha DT400 that my stepdad gave to me. It was his uh, brother-in-law, so he doesn't like very much. I think that was the punishment for the brother-in-law leaving the bike in storage for, for six years. He said, all right, it's yours now, have at it. Well. I'm gonna tell you what, as a 12 year old, I sure learned to ride fast on a DT400. Big old heavy air-cooled bike and my friends had KX80s and KX, KX60s and I'm out there on that thing. I broke every dang fender, every turn signal, every everything off that bike learning how to ride. But again, I was safe in the dirt where you should learn to ride, not out on the crazy highway where I'm out in California right now and I still gotta say my prayers. But that was my first street bike. First street bike is the KZ1000 that I still have to this day. It's been through three restorations. Just went through what I believe is the final restoration at Larry Spider-Man McBride's house. What was your first street bike? I want to know. As we are playing Ask Jack Anything here on Cycle Drag YouTube. We love motorcycles. You love motorcycles. Don says, thank you for what I do. Well, thank you, Don, for watching. Here's a big question, too. Are you guys subscribed? Are you guys subscribed? And if you're not subscribed, please get subscribed. And if you have any friends at all who you think may enjoy this content, please get them locked in as well. We're trying to hit 250,000 subscribers. That's a big number for us. We're at 232 right now. And like I said, you never know from Travis Pastrana to Chad Reed, you never know who you're gonna see on this channel. Chuck Reagan, Chuck Reagan just hit the super chat. Hit the super chat for $20. Thank you, Chuck. I might be going to Lone Star now. We keep this up. I might be going to Capitol Grill tonight. Somebody asked me my favorite manufacturer. Well, favorite brand of motorcycle. That's another tough one. I may have to waffle on that. The reason I'm gonna waffle, I'm not super brand loyal. You know, my father, super brand loyal guy. He loves his Kawasaki's, will only own Kawasaki's. Other people I talk to out here, died in the wool Harley guys, died in the wool Suzuki guys. When I say, if it's fast and got two wheels, we're in, I'm, I mean it. I mean, I will, I will ride anything. I love all motorcycles. You know, soft, soft spot in my heart for Kawasaki, Suzuki, because those are the two dominant brands out here at the drag strip. But how can you not like Harley Davidson? They're so cool. Uh, you know, they're very, very expensive for the most part. That's what's kept me away from, from Harley on the street. But so many guys have told me the way I ride my Busa, they're like, you need to get a Harley because I got 23,000 miles on my Hayabusa and uh, probably chiropractor appointments to show for it. You get on one of these comfortable Harleys and you can just go like Michael Beeland. You know, Michael Beeland's one of the guys that inspired me before I actually had a street bike. I would read Michael's post about how he would go from Charlotte to Boston to visit his kids and come back in, in two days. You would pull off this trip. Amazing. Wait, wait a minute. Is, is Dwayne, we, Cycle Drag, you got to help us out. Dwayne is objecting. He's saying too much Beeland on cycle drag. Do we need more street kings? No, 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 we're no, good. Okay. All right, is Beeland? Beeland's the guy, he's he's public. He looks like- He needs some Nitro Randy instead of Beeland. That's look true! Look there. He had Nitro Randy in the very beginning and then we haven't seen Nitro Randy since. It was like, it was like you got too big for Nitro Randy. Yeah. Nah, <laughs> Nitro Randy was like, super drunk character on a Friday night and then I just went to the racetrack with him. That was hilarious. It was, you know, some people didn't think it was funny. I know one particular racer was upset. They said it was unprofessional. A female racer scolded me. She said, Jack, I, I don't know how you're associated with this. I said, man, he's an entertainer. So listen, man, when I interviewed all those people, they had to put on the same sunglasses as me, which was those crazy vented sunglasses and everyone loved it. And everyone talked and, you know, Nitro Randy was like incognito nitro racer, you know? It wasn't me, it was, it was hilarious, it was fun. There's something that I grasp here that not everybody gets. There's true racers and there's all the nuts and bolts behind the scene, all the things that you guys have to deal with to put out a successful program, but what do we have over there? We have grandstands, okay? So what is a big part of this and always gonna be a big part of this that some people forget? Enter. 
entertainment. The greatest in the game today in terms of drag racing promoters is Bill Bader in Norwalk. He told me 20 years ago, Jack, we're not in the racing business, we are in the entertaining business. Why do people watch this channel? They want to be entertained. Why did you show up as Nitro Randy? Pure entertainment. I love it. Yeah, it was fun. And right now we have the same thing going on. The chopper, love them or hate them, people, people can't get enough of the chopper. Whether it's to be a heckler and throw a tomato at them, like, you know, a couple races we know, or just look, look at this wild man drag racing the chopper. Well, what people don't realize is the guys that kind of like him are really good racers. And he did try to cheat a couple times. I mean, that's a fact. So that. We don't have the, we don't have the actual footage. We have accounts. Right. We have both sides. That's a video you can watch on Cycle Drag right. YouTube. But, and he's a nice guy. Kobe he says he lost track. They said he didn't. We'll leave it at that. He's a, he's a hard nosed racer. Hard nosed racer. And uh, he rides a chopper. It's so it's different and it's unique and it's entertaining. But some of the people have a chopper in their garage. So they kind of relate with it, you know? Let me but, ask you this Do you have a chopper? I'm building one right now. I always have a chopper, but I'm building a very special one right now. And you're going to bring it to this track? Uh, yeah, it's, it's actually a performance chopper. It's an M8 motored chopper. So you could call Kobe out. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't be close. Yeah, no, yeah. You can't run with Kobe? No, I mean, destroy him. Well, that's what we got to see. <laughs> There's probably a lot of people would be rooting for that, Well, he's right? a bracket racer. I'm a heads-up racer. That's chopper versus chopper. Well, I can give him the rear wheel or something for a thousand bucks when it's done, something like that, you know. That would be awesome to see, guys. You heard it here first. A1, Ken, Kobe. Now... I don't want to say Kobe's getting a little big for his britches. He is. But he did one call out. Because I asked him, man, Casey wants a piece of you. And he said, no, I'm only going to do one call out. My call out is Larry Spider Man McBride. Oh, he legitimately called out Larry. <laughs> what, for a bracket race with a five second motor <laughs> No, I think his head's up. Oh, Jesus. I think it was heads up. That's a little out of I think your he's league. Banking on Larry blowing up, but. Or Even if Larry blows Listen, up. Listen, I raised Larry and I had a good pass going. I was running like a 640. He spun the tire in the middle of the run. I went by him like, I'm going to beat Larry Spider-Man McBride. And he spun the tire like the eighth mile. And I'm like smiling ear to ear, running 200 miles per hour. He went by me like I was tied to a post. <laughs> he gathered rear wheel up, got back on that bike and went by me. It was a very, very first pass on star, the new bike. Those guys got a lot of data. You know, and Larry's very humble, but he did tell me there was a certain pro open racer last year that called him out for $10,000 off the trailer. And Larry looked at me and he said, man, not to be... Uh, cocky or anything, but we could smoke the tire and run a five. Smoking the tire. I believe that. Because <laughs> he's been a 550. Yes. Pretty impressive, right? And hopefully we see him back in action in Valdosta. They're trying to get back. We just talked to him a couple days ago. He's not Knees sure. Knees better. Knees better, but he's dealing with a lot of issues where he's getting nauseous and he will not get on the bike till he's 100%. And yeah. It's, it's, you know, it's something that I respect greatly as much as he wants back. We actually talked. He called and asked me, and I just couldn't do it. I scheduled it to line up. Uh, you know, it's, what's <laughs> funny is there's a lot of people waiting in line I for wish, that invite. I, I know wish. I know Jay Turner, Ty Tharp, a lot of those guys, they want to get on that bike. Everybody wants a five-second time slip, and they know. No, that. I don't care about that. I just want to ride that smooth in-line four and just feel the pole. Like Mitch, Mitch Brown fills me in all the time. You know, I love Mitch. That smooth pole, just insanity. We talked about it a lot in West Palm when we were down there for that test session, and that's what Ty said is, Ty said he would look forward to the smoothness, but as he eloquently put it, you get to the thousand foot mark, he's like, that thing just keeps eating and eating. Can you imagine that pull? Yeah. 250, 240? Yeah. Sam Wills broke it down to me, and he said, here's something you don't realize. He said, when Larry gets off that bike, he can't even talk. Right. And that's, think about how long he's been doing. Right. 265 last year. I was there. And the little extra blip, do you remember that one? Yeah. Larry said he scared the heck out of the people at the timing booth. He was okay. Thank God Valdosta's longest track in the country. But we look forward to being there. A1. So you get a lot of news. We got 137 people watching us live on YouTube. They thought they were going to see racing, but unfortunately, an oiled racetrack. We stuck with you. We're not going anywhere. What do you think, guys? Let us know in the comments. Are you enjoying this pre race talk? Pro Street is up next and we got some uh, high eight second low nine second bikes here street bikes so it's gonna be exciting, exciting. Yeah. anybody got any questions for a1 mike our resident expert <laughs> i got a question for you does, does anyone ever give you a hard time for your affiliation with cycle drag no never so it's awesome so like if you walked into maybe a dme trailer and there was a young lady there or you walked into maybe a jtr trailer everybody's okay with it they're okay with me 
but by and large, cycle drag accepted by 99% of the population, right? There we go. Shout out Huntsville, Killmaster. Anybody got any technical questions for him over here? Steve Nichols says... Hi, Steve. Am I allowed to say what Steve Nichols says? What did he say? I can't read it. I can't read that. It's something with a DD. And if rain ratty is what it rhymes with. We, that we might not be there yet, are we? We're not there yet? We're not there yet. Oh, drain daddy. Oh, I guess we are there yet. I thought we were breaking news we were holding back. Yeah, it's uh come to PRI this year. PRI, I'll have a new product, I have a booth at PRI. Product. And every racer will want two or three of them in their trailer. Every homeowner, now, every painter. That's what they said about Brenda. Is it true? Like, this is all I saw. <laughs> I love me so much. I'm not even good at my job. It's my first day. That's what we said. A beautiful young lady who works hard and knows drag racing, right? How about yeah, that? She's awesome. Can't I, run the race without her. I bet. Brenda better watch. A lot of these racers are probably going to want to steal you for the pit crew. Yeah, I'm going to PR. The pit crew. The pit crew is where you Oh, my goodness. This broadcast is... We're going to have to censor this broadcast. Nothing is as bad, though, is when I was in Rockingham this year, Thunder at the Rock, and I decided to go through the pits. That wasn't your typical pits. No. There was a little bit of nudity that slipped through. A young lady, I don't Not know, was nudity. trying to, I think a, a young gentleman did too as well. I don't know what he was, what he was trying to do. But we apologized. We had to write a letter to Mark Zuckerberg, Facebook, to get back reinstated. Oh, it was uh, on live? It was live. Oh, boy. Yeah, there's not much I could do in that situation. <laughs> there's not much I could do. So, guys, if you see cycle drag, please, no cuss words, no nudity. I mean, if some cuss words slip through, that's okay, but nudity. Well, we're live right now, so, you know, that's what we try. Hundred and the, For some reason, the views keep climbing. 141 people watching us, and they're saying, what the heck is Jack and A1 Mike doing? We're waiting. Holding up a fence. Now, Mike, I don't want to uh, sound like I'm coming off as critical of the track, but we talked to Tom Sue, which, by the way, breaking news, he's going to get back in. It was only an oil filter. His, his oil filter fell off. It, he said it could only be a maximum of five quarts of oil. Right. I think the problem here is what, just the distance that he went? There's he kept driving it. He kept he, driving it. I passed him the on the return road. He drove it all the way back to the pits. He drove it back to the pits with no oil, oil filter. filter. Just pumping oil everywhere. Just pumping oil everywhere. Yeah. Smiling ear to ear. So not quite the way we planned to start, but it's okay. Everybody's staying cool. Tamri's having some ice cream. And we got to say congratulations to a personal best. Yeah. Spencer. Yes. Spitzmiller, tell us about it. 927 at 154. What do you attribute that to? Mike. A1 Mike? A a one Mike? And, uh, we had Steve Nichols help us a little bit this oh, morning. Oh, Steve Nichols, Mike, Max ECU, Mike, yeah, also sure. helping you. We, we had a phone a friend for that. Yeah. I, I would love to see a picture of Steve Nichols' war room. He must just be sitting down with, like, it look, must look like Wall Street. Ten computer screens, printouts. Good Lord. Yeah, it was, uh, it was awesome, man. It was fucking flying. Well, big congratulations. Sorry about oh, that. Sorry, beep. I'm we'll sorry. I didn't, I That's all right. We'll beep I'm it out. As long as there's no nudity, I think we're yeah, okay. Yeah, no, uh, we're good. Maybe stick around to about 9 o'clock. Like yeah, it gets, gets a little wild here. You know, the last time, was it you I saw with your girlfriend that she was drinking whiskey? And you were drinking a White Claw? Uh, it's, uh, it was just a friend. Oh, um, that was you? Oh, I don't want to cross any but, uh, lines here. No, okay. yeah, I, I, no she pressure, was drinking. Uh, no pressure. She was drinking Jaeger, and I was drinking the White Claw. Is it true, the reports, that she was so embarrassed after that video that she decided to part ways? That... No, it was a... Uh, we'll talk about... That's not something for Cycle Drag. That's not something for Cycle That might be the actual story that we need for Cycle Drag. <laughs> I guess don't go to Mexico with the friend. Don't go to Mexico with the friend. We'll leave it at that, guys. She may be watching right now. Yeah. We're sorry. I, I mean, uh, we, we're, we get along, so... Good. So keep it that way. Good deal. Well, guys, we're here. This is the Hogs Gone Wild grand finale. We're just awaiting on the track crew to clear the top end. Five quarts of oil down there. Maximum could be could be less. I was gonna say Tom Sue still had some oil in that motorcycle, and that's what I asked Tom Sue. I said, "Do you think you hurt this thing at all?" He said, "No chance." Well, there's a chance if you ran it out, but if the oil light wasn't on, there's still oil in the tank and it's still pumping it through the motor. It's just not returning to the tank. Might not be as you may have lived. You may yeah, have you lived. spin a new filter on it, put three quarts of oil in there, and you're good to go. And I have two I have two stories about that that are amazing that people may not know. I heard an old wise tale, might not even be a wise tale, maybe true. Back in the old pro stock days, Dave Schultz would be a couple numbers back and want to go for number one qualifying position. They would drain the oil. Or less oil. Do you Way believe less. that? Of course. 
that you can make a pass with Boyle is a parasitic just red. Isn't that amazing? And then, of course, I learned that when I made a big mistake with uh, my ex-girlfriend, she never really knew this story, but I decided I was going to change the oil on her Honda Civic. And then we're riding like a week later with my friend. He's like, man, this Honda Civic sounds rough. And I popped the hood and I forgot to put the oil cap back on and it spit all the oil out. And uh, I just said, oh, honey, everything's okay. I put more oil in, but uh, I, the Honda lift. But I, I blamed it on her that I was distracted while doing that oil change. But it was a real mess. And we took it back to the Honda dealer and then he wanted to know why there was oil all over the place. I said, man, some, some kind of manufactured defect. I think she needs to get a new engine. Another story sideline today is there's a motocross next door and Chad Reed is here. Number Chad 22. Reed, let me tell you this, on, awesome he's on his broadcast. Awesome dude. We just talked to him moments ago. Um, Chad Reed, cool guy, got to see him uh, out in the pits of Beautiful wife, Phoenix. his two kids are racing today. He one, was racing. One of the coolest things ever, I got to bring Rob Muzzy to Chad Reed's pit. Awesome. And I love, I love them seeing the homage to the old times, because a lot of the motocross guys, they didn't know who Rob Muzzy was. And I said, blasphemy, I called Joe Koenig. Joe Koenig said, every motocross guy should have been kissing Rob Muzzy's ASS. He was a pioneer. Yes, he was. But what was cool is uh, uh, one of the mechanics for Reed, he was an old Willow Springs guy. He was bound down. Once he saw it, he's like, do you guys know who this is? Mike Gosler. Mike Gosler, he came out and was like, you know, the Gen Zers don't know. Do you know who Gosler's kids are? They're pretty dang fast, huh? Actors. Who? Yeah. They're actors. What, really? I believe one of them is Paul Michael Gossler. Really? I think so. I did yeah. not know that. So Gossler, his nickname is Goose. Okay. I think one of them became a famous actor. Very interesting. Not a motocrosser. Very interesting. Probably more lucrative. Okay. Well, guys, we are moments away. A1 Mike keeping us entertained. Again, if you have any technical questions for A1 Mike, let us know. A1 Cycles, your spot if you need work done in the north carolina area we got the drag coming out that's a good sign yep. that's a good sign well, it's funny vinny's driving the drag and he's not supposed to be working on the track he's now the announcer he's the announcer <laughs> he moved up from track worker to the announcer now he's jumping back in the track a lot of people don't appreciate this if you come to a drag trip especially a smaller track all hands on deck all hands on deck. there's eight guys out there right now trying to fix it for us yeah, that's right i used to hear royce miller at maryland i, I would escape it because i was the announcer that needs somebody to make service announcements but he would say everybody except jack everybody out there on the track right now all hands on deck so luckily i didn't have to get my hands too too dirty sometimes i do um greg delicate says jack all your walk and talks are great wow putting me over making me feel good i got a phenomenon to ask you about now why is it shout out new jersey when we're live my confidence is just up here the love the butterflies now when i post a video it's not live it's you suck you're the worst human being you're annoying you're terrible <laughs> But when we're live, it's all sunshine and rainbows. Maybe I just need to stay low. Or maybe, maybe just this. See, I recognize the formula on the Rocket Man video. I've got 600 comments that say I'm the worst person alive, which in my defense, I voiced that in a broom closet in England. Wasn't sure what I was going to do. It did 17 million views. Eric Tabool? Eric Tabool. That thing's nuts. That thing is nuts. You know how it slows down? They run out of fuel. They put in the exact amount of fuel to run the quarter mile or just short of the quarter mile. Well, that's why I did the interview with him, and it, a lot of people didn't believe me when I said that bike does not have a throttle. He it's on. hits the button, on. starts the reaction, and then he is on for the ride. On. There is no click in the throttle. That is it. It's nuts. That's a different kind of nuts. Would yes. You, would you ever do that? No. I'm good. How about at Valdosta with a super long racetrack? No. I don't blame you. No bulls. No rocket bikes. But you would end up riding Larry McBride's bike. Or any inline four cylinder. I love it. Cliff Corbett wants to know what kind of shoes I got. Yeah, Cliff, I ruined my last shoes at the at the race in Indy. We went with the Pumas. Present from Mama. Thank you very much, Mama. Love you. Uh, but you know, Mike, that brings up a point. I can't believe how track prep varies. I talked to Kurt Johnson at the Norwalk Night Under Fire. He straight up told me he said there's eleven different ways to prep a track. When I was in Indy with Mass Traction, I destroyed my shoes, but I'm finding a lot of these racetracks don't have that level of glue where my shoes have lasted the rest of the year. Right. What do you like for your application? I like it tight. You like it tight? Yep. Now, the fuel guys don't like it so tight, though. Depends, yeah. Sometimes when I'll go slip. But a lot of the fuel guys, especially the fuel Harley guys, have complained about Valdosta in recent Well, that's tight. 
past the 330, where we really don't need it. And that's where you can chunk a tire. Oh, man. That thing, we get to the eighth mile, the front wheel's 18 inches in the air, it's on the wheelie bar, and the tire's fully, fully expanded. You know, the thing's grown up, like, added 25% of its size. It's huge. And it just pulls it to cover it off. That's right. That's right. Well, we can't wait to see him. Uh, when are we going to see you out on your top fuel bike camp? I don't know. Uh, it was ready last week at Rock Camp, but I wasn't. We were busy getting the baggers ready, so I didn't go. If it's not ready, you don't go. If you're if you're not ready, you don't go. You don't waste your time and effort. It's not a halfway thing. Any chance for HDRA games? Uh, no. No. Nope. I have uh, to go do that commercial for my new product. Uh, and Drain Daddy. I would like to go to... The winter test, like we usually go as a group, all the Top Field Harley guys go to Palm Beach. Palm Beach. But I don't know if we're going to get on the schedule. November 19th, Larry Dixon is there with the two-seater. I'll be down there with the Pink Skies. The guy won the, the won the contest, and he gets a ride in Larry Dixon's two-seat Top Fueler at That's Palm so cool. Beach on November 19th. So I'll be down there with those guys shooting I'd that. love to check that out. And Palm Beach, you're driving a knife right through my heart because my dream prior to February was to live in Fort Lauderdale because it checks all my boxes where, what does Jack need to be happy? He needs drag strip, number one. Gym, beach, airport, no winter. Palm Beach checked all those, and unfortunately we get the news that Palm Beach has joined the list of drag strips we have lost this year. Sold, slated to be Walmarts, we believe. Yeah, it's a road course, go-kart track, and drag strip. It's a huge facility. They have mud bog pit there. It's always something going on there, but on Amazon or Walmart or whoever comes in and offers you three times the stated value, you're going to sell it. So I got to thank Mike for changing my course. Now I'm looking at different areas. Mike used to live in Fort Lauderdale. Other things happened to me this year in Fort Lauderdale, and I think you kind of pointed out sometimes there's some unsavory characters and maybe some unscrupulous women that may engage in some uh, less than admirable activity down there. Is that the way we should put it? Florida's a shithole is how you put it. <laughs> but not all of Florida, I right? was there I mean, for 13 years, and uh, I learned a lot hey, of lessons in Florida. I was learned in Ga Gainesville is a different breed. Agreed. And I'm uh, targeting that, you know, Roy ha Hagedorn, Bradington area looks pretty nice down there. Tampa, Tom Brady can't be wrong, right? Tampa's, yeah. South Florida is a different animal. It is. And it's a lot of non-South Florida people that make it the way it is. That, oh, it's all, it's uh, tons of immigrants, tons of transplants from the north, uh, from the south. They say that the south really doesn't start till Jacksonville. That's the true south, they say. That's the true south. Because below Jacksonville is all northerners. And here comes Dwayne. Dwayne, you left. We were talking to Mike. You come back. We're still talking to Mike. <laughs> he we're likes talking about, we're talking about him. Oh, oh, my goodness. <laughs> so you got it. We do have one live critic. Dwayne's saying too much Mike. Yeah. But all the female fans and some male fans yeah. are going wild for you out there. So. I think y'all make a good couple. <laughs> We do, we do room together a lot. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Uh, Alicio Velez. Hey, I'm just jealous. That's all right, we give, you, we give you love. You know we give Street Kings love. We're just hoping this delay is almost over. Me too, but it's really fun messing with y'all pretty Well, let me ask you this. Oh, you think I'm, I'm pretty, thank you. But you're very pretty yourself and you have a very beautiful wife. So I wanna ask you, what is the key to keeping a relationship so happy and successful like you have? Man, I don't know. You have to ask her. What? Well, ask her. I don't deserve it. <laughs> well, what's her name? Tammy. Her name's Tammy too. Another Tammy. Yeah. Tammy, we got a question what you, for you. What do you mean, you. another Tammy? Wait well, a minute. We got Tamri. <laughs> okay, well, clear that up. Tamri, Tammy. <laughs> 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 we will be specific for you. By the way, are, are they repaving the racetrack? I mean, I was trying to be, holy oh, moly. God. And I picked right lane and look at me. Oh, man. Unfortunately you for you. You can do it. You can do it. 136, I promise we're going to bring you racing, guys. We're trying to get there. Big thanks to Steve Nichols for hitting up our super chat and also Chuck Reagan. If you guys would like to hit the super chat, you help give us some gas money out of here. We appreciate it. We need it. That's for sure. And we can ask, we can ask Tammy. Tammy, we have a question for you. This gentleman, how many years have you been married to find Dwayne? 25. 25! What is the key to a successful marriage? Uh, communication. What? So Dwayne's a good communicator? Yeah. Hell yeah, you ain't noticed. <laughs> I see that. I like it. All right. I 
like it. Has there ever been a point where you maybe you have to communicate with Dwayne? Like, I don't like what you're doing, Dwayne. You got to change that. Yeah. Oh, sure. Okay, yeah. good. And it's that. And does he respond well to those changes? Yeah. How about that, Dwayne? So you quit smoking meth. <laughs> Was that, was that one of your requests early on? Oh, yeah. All right. Well, guys, you're going to get the real story here on Cycle Track. It's raw. No paid actors. It's real. So, clear, Mike, you got to believe if your wife asks you to stop smoking meth and you stop, that's going to save the marriage. Right? Save your life, your marriage, your kids, everything. And oh, he, got, yeah. he got clean and sober. Look at him now. A couple companies, drag bikes. I got to yeah. say that, too. This is a true story. This is not a joke. You are a recovery coach now. Oh, yeah. And that is wonderful, man. I know you use motorcycles as something to help motivate people to, you know, see the light, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You, know, you have to follow me on this one because I met a young man. God rest his soul. He's no longer with us. He's battled with addiction. I tried exposing him to motorcycles because I told him, man, you fall in love with this. This is a good addiction. Yeah. This is an addiction that is going to make you travel the country. It's going to make you work hard. Uh, unfortunately, it just it's, I couldn't get it through to him. But I know for a lot of people, it seems like you are able to get it through. Oh, yeah. What's the key? Just, what, is the key what is the number one message you try to convey? I would, I'm not going to be real serious right here. So, okay, okay, okay. So I would say once you start messing with motorcycles, you can't afford math anymore. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You may not even be able to afford women. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> My goodness. That, Dwayne Gee, ladies and gentlemen, recovery coach extraordinary. Gee. Yeah, I always wonder, is it G or is it Gee? Just like Fricky is called Fricky and Frick, but it's really Frick. Silent E, right? George Bryce calls him Fricky. Uh, can you believe that? Speaking of GB, where is GB? GB ran a... A nine on Buck. Nine eighty-seven. Your old rival. We might have to set up a B Land GB race. He's good, man. He's have good on the light. He's good in everything. Have you ever raced a guy named Lou Sanius? No. Okay. Have you ever seen him on Facebook? Personally, no. Personally, no. You've never seen him, but he comments on Facebook, and you speculate as to maybe, maybe have some theories on who this gentleman could be. We don't know. We don't Maybe know. This, it could be ten people. They, it could, they could all be working together. That's, I think there are a lot of people working together. I don't. How could you keep a secret like that? I don't think it's so, a, man. It's a tight group. You think so? It's a tight group. I can tell you this. I think they all have naked pictures of each other, and if somebody raps on somebody, they're gonna they're gonna let the pictures out or something. The like only that. reason I don't like it, and you follow me, in, I'm all for pranks. I'm all for it's jokes. Ru it's rude. It's rude. I think it's cowardly. It hits below the belt. It's cowardly. No, it's not. It's just, the reason the I say it's cowardly says. is you got to use your own name if you're going to hit somebody, right? As opposed to a fake, fake name. Armin Zinuel, we had had. Yeah. And yeah. I'll tell you this. Someday I could uncover a big investigation. Tim Kalungian, I don't want to give away too much, but there's sources that know sources that can trace IP addresses. We have the IP address traced to a Well, company. the problem with IP addresses is they can be bounced off of other servers. So... I've had to track somebody down before, and the IP address bounced off like four places. It, it, they can bounce them around. Gotcha. The IP address isn't the end-all, be-all to where it originated from. Where it originated from. Excellent. And it could be an IP address, an internet cafe? Yes, it could. Or it's rental. You know? Yes, it so could. You don't know. So, guys, anyways, in terms of that, if you want to talk smack on somebody, talk, talk it on your own name. We really have trouble on YouTube as the username comment comes up. There's a lot of aliases on YouTube. Oh, yeah. Your name could be comment and you make a comment. So, <laughs> But you're A1 Mike on YouTube, right? Yeah. Instagram and uh, A1 Cycles. Yes, he is, guys. We're getting close. Do we see the light at the end of the tunnel? My goodness, ladies and gentlemen, we are on. We need to race. We appreciate you guys hanging with us. You guys are the best cycle drag universe. We told you this was supposed to be a live stream that was going to start with the very first pair and be straight racing on through. And it came to a screeching halt with Scott Thompson. Mrs. Velez, Mr. Velez, I'm sorry, is it Mr. or Mrs. Velez? Let me get that. Um, it is, oh, it's Mr. I'm sorry. It is Av, Avlino Velez, Avlino Velez. Thank you very much. I love that name, Avlino. When it came up quickly, I thought it might've been a Mrs. That is definitely a Mr. That is big bad Avlino Velez. Avelino, where are you from? Are you from Are you from Florida? I noticed you take exception to the comment Mike made about Florida. We don't want to generalize. Not all of Florida is bad. Trust me. I had a bad experience there earlier this year. Uh, but I am a Gator. I went to school in Florida. By and large, a wonderful state. Love the weather. Be careful in Fort Lauderdale, though. That's all. That's all I'm going to say about that one. There. You may not want to bring your girlfriend to Fort Lauderdale at the time, but that could also be an issue you have with your own personal girlfriend, which was one that I had with mine. To not go into too many 
too many details about uh, guys in the next room. Anyhow, not gonna touch that one anymore. We're gonna continue on and talk about motorcycles. It's been a rough year for yours truly. But what we do to soothe what we're going through in life is we submerse ourselves in motorcycles. As this is the machine of Jeremy Justice, another one of the happy A1 customers. Roger about ready to go. Mark about ready to go. We've got this category ready to go. Still a lot of racing left to get to. We'll see if we get any call outs or any special grudge races. And there is the legend right there, Chad Reed, washing bikes. Isn't it cool, ladies and gentlemen? You just never know who you're gonna see. It's hot, right? It is hot. We gotta check in with Hammer Hammer. How's everything going for you this weekend? Oh, it's a little hot, but we having fun. It is it. hot. A lot of Street King customers here this weekend. Yes, yes. I didn't know you were the head tuner at Street King. Well, I tell you what, I'm not gonna say that uh, on camera. Okay. But I do make it happen. You do make it out. I knew you were a talented rider. I didn't know you were also talented. Are you, you work the dyno? I, I work the bills, so. Works the bills and yeah. the bills. Okay. Yeah. You spend a lot of dyno time? Uh, not a lot. Not a lot, okay. Because they, they normally don't need a lot. And not only that, what's a better dino than the racetrack, right? How about that? There's no hiding it on the racetrack yet. So Funny we, story with you guys. I'm out in California the other day, Hemet, California, middle of nowhere. Okay. A guy stops me with a Harley shirt. We start talking. He's like, hey, you ever heard of Street Kings? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> He's like, they were out here racing the other That's day. I'm right. like, what? Yes. You go all the way to California to race? I just missed that. You got to let me know next time now. We're Facebook friends. Send me a message. I'll come out. Okay. I will do. But yeah, we had a ball with those guys. He went down for the annual for the wolf pack. Where's that happening? Uh, right in the heart of, of Los Angeles. So we were at Carson, Compton, <laughs> we're all through that place. That's old school, I love it. Yes. Well, one time on Cycle Drag, we went up by APE, Tombo hooked us up. I right. said, here, go out here, you'll never get in trouble. So we go out in the middle of nowhere to watch. Next thing I know, 10 CHP, California oh Highway God. Patrol roll up. Luckily, they gave everybody a warning. They showed up, they said, this is not Street Outlaws, you guys get out of here. Oh my. But Tombo was laughing. He had a chuckle out of that one. Yeah, he said a, somebody must have told on us. That's a really good friend of mine. We grew up together. Tombo's the man. We're just at his race in Oklahoma City. Um, he had two good Soul in the Valley races this year. And he was talking to me about wanting to make it bigger next year. You're one of the names I dropped. I oh, said, man. you got to get the Street Kings there. We'll be there. Excellent. We'll be there. There you go, Tombo. All right. We got you hooked up. Street Kings you in the house. Uh oh, hold on, hold on. What we got going on? So, so we listen, we doing you. something. We need you. Okay, right? what's going on? We doing something that no shop has ever done before. Okay. In Gulfport, Mississippi. Okay. We raffling off a whole motor. Complete, complete deal. Complete deal. How 126 much? is 160 plus horsepower, 145 plus torque. From the ruler to the tutor, all the boats have been touched. Street King built. How much are the tickets? One hundred dollars. How many tickets we sell? About sixty, sixty to seventy. Can they buy online even if they're not there? Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, go to Street King Motorsports. That's Street King Motorsports. Get the S on the end of motorsports. Dot com. So that's Street King Motorsports. Dot com. Go to events. Go down to the um, um, the raffle, and that's where you can get your tickets. And everything is computerized. And guess who we're going to have drawing the winning ticket who? in Gulfport, Mississippi? Our very own. Yes. <laughs> yes. Online. Yes. The man himself. You get to pull the, <laughs> you get winning, to pull the winning ticket. That's a lot of pressure. It's going to no be a pressure. lot of pressure. No pressure at all. And you don't have to be there to win. So I understand that. Well, there you go. Cycle you Drag go. Universe. You got a shot. We're talking <laughs> to YouTube that, right what's now. What's that address again? Uh, Street. Streetkingmotorsports.com. Go to events, go down to the raffle, and that's where you can get your tickets. 100 bucks cost you. Excellent. That's it. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Get in that raffle. I'm pulling the ticket. I might, am I allowed to enter, or am yes. I disqualified? Yes. Yes. What if I pull my ticket? Then you're the luckiest guy. You're the luckiest guy I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> might have to work something out. Might have to talk about something. I'll take a new motor. That's for sure. I don't know if it'll fit in my booster, though. 124 of you rocking with us. Thank you guys so much. $90 on the Super Chat. Can we get over 100 on the Super Chat? That would be awesome. Can we get over 150 likes? If you have not yet hit like, please do. We are still, still down for this oil down. Top end of the racetrack. We gotta be getting close. I mean, we have got to be getting close 
I'd like to take maybe a walk down there. Or maybe, maybe Street Kings will give us a ride down on the golf cart. We got a lot of people loaded up in this cart, though. We got to go down there and see how this track cleanup is coming, Dwayne. You want to go? You want to ride? You know what? We should. We should take a ride down. I don't know. Would they yell at us for riding this down there? Mike says yes. All right, I'm with Dwayne. I'm with Dwayne. If anybody asks, I'm with Dwayne G. I'm going on the side road, Mike. Uh oh, Mike's a little worried. Mike doesn't often get worried about breaking rules. Uh oh, wait. Good news, you're coming off. All the crews right here. Wait. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Maybe I jump in with the crew. Yeah, there we go. Is it all clean? Not yet. Are you guys going back down? Can I jump on with you? All right, let's go. We just gotta grab a couple things first. How close are we on this? Uh, they told us to grab a hand sprayer and a bunch of other stuff. Okay, so all the oil, some cleaning to do. All the oil, no, the oil's not cleaned up yet? Not quite, no. Not quite, okay. All right, guys, we'll take you down. This is extensive. Really, really extensive cleanup. Didn't anticipate being, and my luck too. I started, I'm telling you, I started a YouTube, once you start a YouTube stream, if we we're on Facebook where I'm live much more frequently, I would have just stopped it and tuned back in. But we started the stream here, so uh, it's not often that you start a YouTube stream live. You don't want to pop on and off of YouTube like it's Facebook. You'd rather just have a continuous stream there. So that's what I did. And you guys have hung with us. We're going to stay with you. We're going to give you that first round of eliminations. Might be the longest you've ever had to wait for first round of eliminations, but we're getting close. And yeah, we can get down there to the top end. I got enough weight in that one. It fell off the off a mark spike, right? Now we gotta ask, I got a question for Dwayne. Gee. Dwayne. I realized something. You are more of a rebel than Michael Beeland. I thought Michael Beeland was a rebel, but he kind of went dad mode on us right there. Yeah, didn't he did. He, he did. was a little scared. I'll take a risk now. You will. Yeah. He was kind of scared. Oh, I raced him lately. yesterday, and he knew he had me. Maybe he's coming of age. Now, see, I was with Michael Beeland earlier this year, and he was rebelling against TSA due to them making him wear a mask. And <laughs> but he, I'm like, this guy's a rebel, but. When Dwayne and Jack try to go down a racetrack, I think we might have struck an, a dad oh, moment. Let's, let's see. Hey, you? <laughs> We're sorry about that. We're sorry, Dad. We got that We're sorry. <laughs> We're sorry. That probably wouldn't have been a good idea for us to go down there, right? No, you're just going to get in the way. We probably got yelled at. I just want to make laps. I know, man. We're so close to this first round. They said they got still a little bit more clean out. At least you got shade. You can't. Did you get to punch Scott in the face for that? <laughs> Everyone lines up, gets a punch him in the arm at least once. <laughs> the clutch arm. Oh. The clutch slim. arm. I'll probably slim. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about the back-to-back -back street course, then go right into the race? Was that a good idea or a bad idea? I don't have a dog in the fight. But uh, the street ride takes out a lot of high-strung bikes. And it'd be better if they kept it consistent all year. I remember the first time Dwayne was in the street ride. Dwayne was in the street ride the very first year he had the street bike. Okay. And you're not supposed to go back to your pits. So we pull in the stage lanes, but his staging lane, his pit was in the staging lane. And he pulls <laughs> over and he puts the fan on the bike and he plugs in the battery charger. You're not supposed to touch the motor, go back to your pits. And everyone's like, well, what are you doing? He's like, well, I'm at my pit in the staging lane. I was I was well within the rules. He was in the staging lane, <laughs> but it was actually his pit. <laughs> it's all about finding that gray area in the rules. It wasn't gray there, bro. No, he almost got thrown out, but uh, we all voted to let him back in. <laughs> I cried. He just didn't know. I literally cried. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty funny. That is. It was funny, one of those good man. moments. You know? Well, hey, you got you were there early. You got the A placement in the pits. So there's an advantage to that, isn't there? Yeah. I will never do that again. Who do you got first round, by the way? I got Spencer, Spencer. Spitzmiller. Oh, you got Spencer Spitzmiller. Who's do you got, who do you have, Mike? Uh, I have my own teammate, Jeremy. Oh, that's yeah. a tough break. Yeah. 
one thing you can't do with the chip draw. We watch how Matt Smith and others will qualify in certain positions. The, the Vance and Hines team to try to avoid teammates can't do that on a chip draw. Huh? Cannot do that on a chip draw. It's hard to do, but those pro stock guys are talented enough that they can make it happen. But we do here. Because they use max ECU. Like Dwayne and Spence c called each other out. So they didn't have to draw chips because they're going to race each other. So the call out counts. Okay? Right. Yes, it does. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Now, oh, hold on. Let's go down and check out the racetrack. Here we go. We're going to take a look. Cycle Drag Universe, we're giving you inside access. If you enjoy this, we're risking life and limb for you guys. Here we go. You guys ready? We're on a... Here we, we'll give you guys an update when we return. So if you, if you guys are just enjoying us, we are live Cycle Drag YouTube. We were intending to bring you first round of Pro Street Eliminations right away. Scott Thompson oiled down the racetrack. A limited staff here at Silver Dollar Motorsports Park. They're doing the best job we can. Now because we want to take you inside the sport, we're going to actually go down here and assess the damage and see how close they are with track cleanup. If you guys dig this, hit like. If you're enjoying the show, let us know in the comments. If you really like it, hit us up on the super chat. Like Mr. Velez, Mr. Nichols, and Mr. Reagan, our three super chatters here this weekend. Oh, hold on, easy, Tiger. Oh, we got a lot of weight on this machine. It's putting me in the ditch. All right, let's give you an inside look at track cleanup. They have been at this for over an hour. And I gotta believe we're getting close. No. So, it, what's the problem? What's the. Uh, Mike put an oil trail from about the eighth mile all the way down to the second turn off. Wow. How much more cleanup do you think about? I hope he's not too long, but he's still gotta go from the finish line to the eighth mile on the track. They're probably gonna crash. Turn off. I'm trying to pick up as much oil as possible. We're gonna see what they can do. So we're getting there though. Track's clean, right? We're getting there. Shutdown's clean? Slowly. He's sleeping it off now. Wow. What a mess. What a mess, Vinny. Mess is an understatement right now. How would you assess what you just cleaned up? On a scale of 9 to 10? Yes. We'll call it an 11. An 11. We've done worse though. I'm not gonna lie. We've had antifreeze from pretty much the transition to the last turn off once. Wow. Earlier this year, but it happens. It's the nature of the beast. It sure is, guys. Like I said, it's harder than you think to run these, these drag races. And for a lot of you watching at home, remember, these are not big money organizations, big money tracks. Not everything is the NHRA safety safari. These guys are out here because they love racing, working on a Saturday. And this is what's getting it done. We're fortunate that we have equipment. Some tracks don't even have tractors. They have a lot of equipment here at Silver Dollar. As you see, we got the Bobcat. We are getting close. We are getting close, that's the good news. Beautiful day here. In Reynolds, Georgia, Silver Dollar Motorsports Park as we continue with the track cleanup. That is the track owner, and that is the drag machine. As you can see, he's got the barrels and the rubber down. He's trying to lay a nice, smooth, rubbery surface on this racetrack. There's a fine art to track prep, and there's a fine art to clean up. It's harder than you would think. And especially at a motorcycle race, safety is number one. So they will not send a bike down if there's any oil on the racetrack at all. You can see where the oil started for Tom Sue and he just whew. I'll tell you Tom Sue is very lucky that he didn't get it on his back tire we've seen that happen before if you saw the terrible Corey Hogan crash in top fuel he threw a rod motorcycle leaked a tremendous amount of oil got on his back tire and that's what put him into the wall Big 
little chunk of rubber coming off here. I'm not sure what the fluid is that Vinny is spraying down. But he's putting it right in the path of the oil. Look where it started, too. They said eighth mile. <laughs> For those of you in YouTube land sitting back, relaxing, and enjoying, we could use some help. <laughs> Come on out, the silver dollar. This is why, too, if you love racing, go help your local drag strip. Some of these things Ma and Pa own, and you wouldn't believe how hard it is. Most drag strips have just a small group of employees that work 18, 19, 20 hour days. Vinny, what are you spraying right now? Just a little Clorox and water, actually. Okay. Simple, simple house cleaning products actually go a long way. So you guys have already done the cleanup with the powder. Now we, it's just a little extra. We did the powder. We scraped it because the powder really wasn't working too well. It might be some type of synthetic type, but sometimes that happens. So sometimes you just got to scrape it, start from scratch, and rebuild. And that's what we're doing right now. Wow. And it goes from pretty much... You'll see it. You'll see it when you spray the water over it. It goes all the way. Robert and them are still working in the shutdown area. I believe he went to the second turn off. It happens. Like I said, it's the nature of the beast. Yes, it is. But it's still better than any office job. Yes, it is. That's right. If you love racing, no place you'd rather be. But is it now this wet? Is this still oil? That is still that is oil in the low spot of the track. Oh my goodness. Wow. One heck of a serious oil down. It's hard to believe a motorcycle can do this much. And he only holds five quarts. Can you believe that? Thank goodness it wasn't a top fuel dragster. Can you imagine one of those cleanups. I, I think I'd be uh, running for the hills at that point. Yeah, you definitely would need an, a small I, army. Hey, it could always be worse. That's true. And that's why NHRA does have a small army for cleanups like that, guys. What they do with the Safety Safari, they are just incredibly well-staffed. They're doing the best job they can here at Silver Dollar Motorsports Park, so I want to give them a lot of credit. The good news is we're clean up here. Let's see. Ah, no, we don't have any, any oil here. So to the eighth mile mark, we're looking pretty good. But other than that, extensive, extensive cleanup here at Silver Dollar Motorsports Park. Give you a look at the pits. This is the final points race for Hogs Gone Wild this season. It's gonna be exciting once we get going again, once we get these motorcycles up here for the first round of Pro Street. Uh, trying to piece together, I was hoping that that would be uh, an update for you guys to where I would say we're going back racing real, real soon, but I don't know. It might still be a little while. We might have to go over and check out the motocross races. You guys want to do that? What a perfect opportunity. How many dirt bike fans do we have? How many people started out riding dirt bikes? Let me know. Let me know in the comments. You guys didn't fall asleep on me, did you? I haven't seen any comments in a while unless the comments have shut off here or if you're watching on your TV. I don't know how you comment if you're watching on your television unless you have it dialed in through your phone. So check in, check in, check in. Let me know where you're watching from. Still got 130 people hanging tough with us. We're gonna go over and check out the motocross race. If you're just joining us again, very special event. It wasn't supposed to be a dole event, but Matt Walker, who is a former motocross pro, a trainer, has a training facility. He said that at the last minute, his track canceled on him. He asked Silver Dollar, can we run it? They said, well, we got a Harley race going on. They said, perfect. As long as Roger Edgington approves, let's do it. And I think it was a great idea because it got a lot of bodies in here and it's getting a lot of people exposed to Cycle Drag. Cycle Drag YouTube, how about that? So why don't we walk around and see what's going on? They're down over there as well. It might be like some type of intermission for them over at the motocross races. And we'll give these guys an update. But check in, check in, check in. Let me know where you're watching from. Oh, there we go. I didn't have my live chat on. No wonder I haven't seen any comments. So if you commented during the last 20 minutes, I probably missed you, I'm sorry. Come back with that comment. My live chat was not on. There we go. Chris Mullen says, interview Reed's kid, give him some exposure. Well, we may just do that. We interviewed him earlier.
Well, A1, oh, look at this, look at this cutie right here. This is a racer of tomorrow. A1, I saw it firsthand. I got bad news. We're, we still got some time to go. They, something, I think they, they said they couldn't get the oil up. So now they're going to Clorox and drag. Everything they tried to do in the beginning didn't work. There's still oil on the racetrack. I said, is that oil or is that cleaner? They said, it's oil. So I think we're probably in for still at, at least 20, 25 minutes. I gotta go get a White Claw. And a hot dog. And a hot dog. Of course, Mike would never drink a White Claw in competition. Not he's just, done he's kidding with you guys. Don't worry. That's what your buddy Fast Jack said. Remember, you tried to tell him, let's go get a drink. And he went after the race. He's sober. Yeah, well, so he, he would just have a Mountain Dew or something. Right. Fast Jack. Have you talked to him? Hey, he's been here all weekend. No, Fast Jack. Fast Jack Beckman. Oh, my buddy Jack. Yeah. Yes. I love him. Yeah. He's uh, unfortunately no longer with Don Schumacher, but we hope that he'll come back out someday. He's an amazing racer, an amazing talent, and uh, he was an elevator union worker where he lives in California, and he pulled his union card back and back went back on. to work. Went back to work. A couple oh, kids, got a nice Elko all restored, works on his El Camino. But a true racing talent that we hope to see back. Someday. He's also a historian of the sport. Yes, he him is. and Lewis Bloom are just incredible, incredible historians of the sport. He has truckloads of old magazines, and he has a great memory for the sport. Yes, he does. He goes to the Cackle Fest out there and knows all the old guys. It's, it's pretty cool. Well, hang tight, A1. We'll get you here in a little bit. Looks like we still got a few more minutes. Why don't we head over to the MX Pits, ladies and gentlemen? Who wants to see some dirt bikes? Who wants to see some of the stars of tomorrow? Who wants to see a Gen 3 Suzuki Hayabusa that Victor Gote brought us all the way from Florida? <laughs> what do you guys think about the Gen 3? Who's loving the Gen 3? Awesome. awesome motorcycle. Dang. Victor Gote was looking great on it. Victor brought it. Victor, what's your impression of riding the Gen 3 Suzuki Hybrid? Pretty smooth. It's nice to ride. It's pretty easy. Well, Victor, I got to ask you about something that Michael B. Land just told me. Michael B. Land said that all the troublemakers live in Florida. <laughs> oh, look at that smile. <laughs> now, not not all of Florida is bad, though, right? Florida's a lot of good in Florida. Oh yeah. A lot of good. What part of Florida are you from? Orlando. Part. Orlando is a great area. Yeah. We're talking South Florida can be trouble, right? Yeah. There's South some trouble makers down, down South there, Florida. Yeah. But, awesome. but trouble is everywhere. <laughs> trouble is everywhere. That's true. The street kings would never cause any trouble, would they? Oh, no. That's what I thought. Always well behaved at every race. I don't know if you happen to see a video. We got a video that was very popular from Tulsa. Uh, Mr. Tom Su, who just oiled the racetrack, came up to the winner's circle and then a very nice gentleman said, could you please give me the money that you owe me? Uh -huh. And Mr. Tom Su said, uh, I'll, I, will, I will repay you, sir. Thank you for asking me nicely. That was the translation of what yeah. went on between those two. Yeah, so. I've seen that video too. You saw that video too? Yeah. It didn't go quite that way, but if you'd like to see it, it's on Cycle Drag YouTube called Give Me My Money. <laughs> It's a good video on there. I think these guys remember it. Now, were you at that race? You weren't at that race, were you? Oh, you were, okay. He was at that. Well, that was the race. That was the race where Hammer went down, got back on the bike and won the race. That was crazy. <laughs> brave, absolutely brave, man. We appreciate it. Well, guys, get in that Street King raffle. That's coming up. Yes, it is. Get in that Street King raffle track. Cleanup continues. We got the legend over here, Chad Reed, washing bikes. Can you believe that? Uh, Steve has seen that video. He knows what I'm talking about. There's Demi on his fast Harley Davidson. Chad just being a super dad out here right now. Check it out, washing the bikes for the little ones. Dwayne's still cruising around. Let's see if we can take a walk through the pit area. See what's going on over here at the MX track. How's it going, man? Trying to get ready for the Oh, are they done for the day? Oh, it's just practice day. Oh, 
just enjoying the day. We had an oil down over there, unfortunately. I know in motocross racing, you don't have to worry about an oil down. Somebody oil blew up a motor, oiled the race track. Oh, no. That's yeah. right, we're almost there. Yeah. But how cool is this for you? You're next to the drag strip. Okay. You got Chad Reed put it next to you. Yeah, this is gonna happen no better. I mean, let yeah. me tell you a picture. Never in my life would I thought Chad Reed would need to uh, cut his handlebars in my trailer. No, no way. Uh, that's my buddy Jeff. And look, he needed a bike. Pointed towards the camera. Okay. That's the beast, Chad Reed himself. That's my buddy Jeff. Right there. Nice too. Right there in my trailer. You never nice. know you never know what you're gonna see here at the races, guys. Love the trailer. Everybody helps everybody. That is cool, man. Good luck to you guys. Here's something we don't have to do to our bikes, the drag strip, and that is pressure wash them. Dad's working hard. Practice is over, they're done for the day. I was surprised, I thought the motocross races would be going on late into the evening, but no, they're done. They're gonna wait until tomorrow. A lot of top teams here though, that's for sure. Look at this turnout over here. You guys having fun? Yes, they are. Dogs having fun. That's what you gotta love about racing, guys. A family affair for sure. The families that race together stay together. I'm a firm believer of that. Follow your passion, follow your dream, do what you love. And so many of you love motorcycles. You want to talk about family? Here, this shot will drive home what it's all about. I think we have some family time going on here or what? What's up, everybody? You're live. Cycle, drag, YouTube. Having a good... Is it happy hour? It is. Happy hour. After happy hour. It's mom and dad finally get to have some fun, right? That's right. There we go. <laughs> Brother and sister. Oh, wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's okay. They're from Guys. Alabama. Brother and sister, they say, oh, to each God. their own. Good, good luck, ladies and gentlemen. Jeans Thank are better. You. There we go. You never know what you're going to see on Cycle Drag YouTube. That's right. Having a good time. I, I, like I said, I'm very surprised that they're done for the day. Are you guys doing a little pit riding? In the comments, how many of you started in the dirt? of all of you watching right now. If you did start in the dirt, let me know what your first dirt bike was. I can tell you what mine was. I rode my stepfather's Honda Trail 50 and fell in love with it. I don't know if I can consider that my first dirt bike though. A KDX 80, who remembers those? KDX 80, old school, early 80s version. My first true dirt bike was a 1983 YZ125, it was yellow. I think it was the first year for Monoshock, first year for Water Cold. Loved that bike. Now what I want to do, now that I'm older, I want to buy them all back and have them. That's why the collector market's so hot, because us guys, we get older, we want what we had as kids. What we had to sell as kids, what we couldn't afford as kids. So let me know your first dirt bike. Steve says his was a Honda 50. Shout out, guys. How you doing? As we are live on Cycle Drag. You, look at all the gear here, too. Man, I might... I shouldn't have walked over here. I might have to go home with some goggles, some boots. These are the kind of boots I have. Very, very good boots. I don't know how to pronounce it. Garin KTM 50 comment says, this young lady working hard for DMC. Look, she's taking cards too. How about that? Gotta love technology. Somebody's getting a new tire. Are you getting a new tire? Oh, uh, uh, she seems like a good saleswoman. She seems very persuasive. She is. I'd say. Okay. Here we are racing. Here you are racing. Very cool. KX250 RW Duke says, what year, RW? HCC Warrior Dan says, Honda SL90. 
And look at the tire selection over here as well. Just tire, you want to put it on? Yeah, I'll put it on. Yeah. That's a uh, 80. out their website guys. I'm oh, sorry young lady, what was that website? It's dmc-motorsports.com. Very cool, what's your name? Alex. Where are you from? Beaver, Georgia. How old are you? I'm 19. I love it. Do you ride as well? I do not. I was say you, you gotta see her up one she looks she's, like, she's she, starting. She looks like she could rip up a little bit. She's she starting. Like, Cool. We're doing a great job with everything. So thank you very much, guys. One of the hard You got it. You're live on Cycle Drag YouTube. We're taking them inside the sport right now. Drag racing, dirt bike racing, whatever you want to see. We've got my man over here. And check it out, guys. He's working at old school. No tire machine. He's got the spoons out. Yes, sir. How's it going? Good. Good to see you, man. Yes, sir. How many knuckles have you busted today? Good, you're doing well. You're doing well. I'm good for the road though. No problem. It's got a nice stand, a nice stand really helps. So we are asking you what was your first motorcycle, ladies and gentlemen? What was your first motor? SL Honda? Some of you saying? Suzuki JR50 was my first. Suzuki JR50. Where are you out of, sir? Okay, very cool. Very cool. Got, I love Georgia. Great state for motorcycles. Whether it's drag racing, whether it's a little bit of everything. And here's some of the secret tricks. A little bit of, a little bit of. Oh, he's cleaning, getting some of that dirt off, making sure the tube's nice and clean. So we are 25 likes away from 200. Can somebody please make sure you have hit like on this video? It's got the valve core out. Good move. I want to know in the comments who has changed a tire themselves before without a tire machine. Shout out Lockhart, Texas. Fun way to do it, right? Separates the men from the boys. And I'll tell you, this is a dirt bike guy. If you're a trail rider, you better know how to do this because sometimes we've got to do this alongside the trail. Oh, yeah. We ride the single track up in Pennsylvania, and you never know if you're out far enough. Where are you from? Pennsylvania? I'm from Pittsburgh originally. Pittsburgh, okay. Good dirt bike country. A lot of racing up there. Never, never been too much north. Okay. To New York once or twice. We've had some good tracks not far from High Point. Used to be close to Steel City when that was running. Well, good job, man. We'll let you get out back to work. We'll get out of your hair. <clears throat> More than you bargained for today on Cycle Drag YouTube. The Lizard's Rock Den says many times. I wonder if, the, I wonder if this young lady has ever changed a tire. Have you changed a tire, young lady? Uh, I bet you could. I bet if you get with this guy, I bet he would help you do it. You look strong enough. I'll tell you that. Well, you guys enjoy. Thanks for letting us look on. So this team will get, uh, this entire crew will get prepped and ready for tomorrow. Some people don't wash their bikes. Some people don't bring water to the races. It's not necessary, it's a luxury. The big thing about washing it is it makes it easier to work on them, which is why so many teams like doing that. Also makes your bike a little lighter. If you picked up a lot of heavy mud during practice. So of course, given the opportunity, I would love to wash my bike, but it was, did you bring a pressure washer with you? Did you bring a 55 gallon drum of water with you? Or is there a water hookup? Or are you friends with somebody who did? If not, you had to suffer through a dirty bike. What we would actually do sometimes is uh, take paint scrapers. If it was really muddy during practice, even if we had water, we would scrape them down first to conserve water. And that would make your bike a whole lot lighter during racing. Avellino has a manual tire machine. Very cool. And let's see if we can get back over there. Whew, guys, I don't, I don't want to be negative here or anything, but they have got to be getting close on this oil down, or I don't know what's going on over here. This is like, I think three John Forces could have blown up 
they are working hard. They might have had the wrong approach in the beginning. Uh, this is for Scott Thompson. We should go check in with him. I think he would have had time to rebuild his <laughs> rebuild his bike if he threw a rod. So we're getting there, though. How you doing, sir? You having a good time? Great time. Good to hear. Good to hear. As we continue on, this is hogs gone wild. And we're getting ready to go back to action. As you can see, we got some sparkling clean Team 22 bikes out here, ready to go, looking good. Let's go check in with Tom Sue. We need to go, you guys in the comments need to help me rough up Scott. <laughs> He's the reason this YouTube video has been 100 minutes. We hit the 100 minute mark and we've shown you exactly what? Two, two races? One, one pair, holy moly, holy, we gotta go check in with Roger up here and then talk to Tom Sue. But we promise you, we're staying with you for that first round. I know some of you are waiting, you got us up on the TV. It's been crazy. Roger Edrington is here, Hogs going wild. Yeah, up, Roger. One heck of an oil down. We're over a hundred minutes on this cleanup. Man, uh, it's tiresome. You know, uh, all filter backed off the bike. Um, didn't have those script teeth or nothing like that. Just all filtered. You know, this is what happens. But belly pants, diapers coming next year. Yes, that can save you a lot. Save you a lot. And, of and from your perspective, you being the promoter, this is precious and valuable track time where you don't want to go into an overtime situation with a track where you gotta run late, every minute counts, right? All the time, all the time, every minute counts. So, you know, uh, Anthony got new track personnel, so uh, he's working with them, you know? We just have to be patient, things happen like this. Steve Nichols know? is shouting you out over here. Appreciate Steve Nichols, shout out Steve Nichols for his help and support. Congratulations on uh, you and Michael Freaky's, Mark Freaky's uh, accomplishments. Shout out to Max CCU. Max He's done a great CCU job, front. yes. I, t I said, Steve, we, Steve's got to send us a picture. He must have three computer screens up with all the data he has. To <laughs> oh, man, I bet your job is full right now. He'll be tuning in HRA bikes next week when they go to Las Vegas. Vegas you be might Vegas. be in Vegas yeah, too, right? Yeah. We're going to Vegas when we leave here. Um, planned out trip we have, so I want to go out there and check out the NHRA and uh, support other sanctions. Yeah, a cycle drag will be cleaning. The Lizards Rock Den is giving us a hard time. Says, are they cleaning up Exxon Valdez out there? Like I said, brand new trap people, you know, uh, never worked with this staff right here, but Anthony, uh, they working very diligently and safety is more important. That's the big and end. And it's on the big end, so you got top speed out there on the big end, so you definitely don't want a mistake on the big end. Well, you nailed it. I don't care if my battery dies and my, my stabilizer dies, you just cannot send a bike down there if no. it's an unsafe race. If it's racer. unsafe, it's unsafe. Good deal. Yep. Now, Safety Roger, first. talking about what we got coming up, big race in Gulfport. Tell me Gulfport, about that. Gulfport, Mississippi. Oh, we have a banquet there, and uh, we also have a big yonder bike class. Uh, we get, we have our, big, uh, our rules meeting, and that's where we pay out all the points money. It's in Gulfport, Mississippi. It's going to be awesome to see. We'll see each and every one of you there. And then when can we expect a 2022 Hogs Gone Wild schedule? Um, at, coming up at the Gulfport. Mm -hmm. I have my schedule out right after Gulfport. Any sneak previews you can give us here? or no, You did wanna... say on the live cast, four events. Four right? big events. That's it. Four big events. So yeah. maybe a a Two spring, two fall? Yeah, and uh, maybe two quarter mile, two eighth of a mile. So that gives the smaller guys a chance to go beat. Very cool. Yeah. That's what we're talking about, the luck of the draw here too, that you don't qualify, you do chip draw. We talked to the racers, they said they like that because it gives the underdogs a chance. Yes, it definitely does. You never know who you're gonna pick. And uh, may the best man win. Hey man, he's Roger Edgington. Well, Roger, we're getting there. Appreciate Hogs going wild. We're live on Cycle Drag YouTube. Let's go check in with Tom Sue and see where he's at. I hope I have enough battery to bring you guys the first round of eliminations. They gotta be getting close. Imagine they are getting oh so close. Spencer's even gone back to the pits at this point. Spencer's staying cool. How's it going? We're getting there, man. I walked down there and I gotta admit, I was a little disappointed at what I saw. 
Why? Because when I was down there, we still had oil on the racetrack. Oh, shit. I think they might have made a mistake on cleanup procedure, and then they were correcting it, but we're getting close. I hope so. But, uh, I got a 14-hour drive as soon as we're done racing, so. <laughs> might be staying at the Cotton Gin with me tonight. Nah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to still at least get to Nashville tonight. Well, if you feel like you're far away, Jack, how many hours did you drive to get here? He's in North Carolina now. I drove four days to but get here. He drove four here. days oh, to yeah, get here. Yeah, true. So a win will make it feel I, much better. I hopped right? in my truck at 1.30 in the morning, uh, Thursday morning, and was here 5 o'clock Thursday afternoon. Well, good luck here round one. We know it's coming soon. We'll update you. There's a brand new segment on Cycle Drag YouTube. It's called Cooking with Jeremy Justice. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, today in Flavortown, we're taking you to New Orleans, courtesy of Jeremy Justice. Jeremy, what are we cooking up today? Uh, keeping it simple, great track food, just doing a jambalaya. Sausage, you know, nothing too exciting, but it's easy to make at the track and feeds a lot of people. What are the ingredients? Uh, well, these are just Zatarain's uh, boxed jambalayas. We had to get the mild for old Beeland over there with a sensitive system. Oh, Couldn't handle the Mike, hot, spicy Mike can't stuff. handle spicy. So we Understand got that. that. We got some boudin sausage. We got some um, just some Louisiana green onion sausage, and we're gonna just uh, you know make up something to eat. Working off a Coleman camping stove, right? I tell you what, this thing's awesome. It sure is. And you do this at every oh, single yeah. race. Yeah, I try to uh, make some food. You know, we're all out here. It's, uh, it's, it's nice to be able to feed everybody. And shoot, we're sitting here doing nothing while the track gets oiled down. Have you ever cooked for Steve Nichols? He says shrimp po' boy. Shrimp po' boy. Yeah. No, I haven't cooked for Steve Nichols. Uh, but um, I'm definitely not frying shrimp out here. So Maybe but, in the finals at Gulfport? Maybe, maybe, you never know. I'll you never it. know, you're gonna come to uh, Gulfport? I'll be in Gulfport, awesome. can't wait. It's awesome. busy, We have. I think there's been one weekend down since July 4th. Coming yeah. up, we got probably NHRA Vegas next weekend. Weekend after that will be AHDRA Gainesville. Uh, weekend after that, Gulfport, I believe. Mm -hmm. Weekend after that, I think Man Cup Finals. Man Cup Finals, yeah. Then Thanksgiving. Um, and, oh, Steve Nichols says he's very proud of you. Oh, well, thank you, Steve How Nichols. about that? Very much. His help has been, um, you know, unbelievable with the Max CCU. Steve has been a, a real big help to us. He's a great guy. Mike T. shouts us out from Allentown, Pennsylvania. Jeremy, do you know why, could you explain to the average person why the Max CCU is so valuable? Information, um, which I know sounds funny and, and whatever, but you can look at it and you have all this information and you can look at the data and you know exactly what you're doing or what you're not doing. You know, sometimes you make a pass and you think, oh, I did great. And then you look at the data, you're like, oh, ugh, no, I didn't do so good. So you once you know where your faults are and, and what you're doing right and what you're doing wrong, you can work on those and you can address it. If you don't ever know any of that information, then you're kind of just going blind. But uh, And then, of course, the, 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 the tuning capabilities and, you know, Mike lives in North Carolina. I live in uh, New Orleans. So, uh, you know, I can email him all the data logs. Uh, we email him to Steve Nichols. He's, you know, absolutely invaluable for us. And, you know, they can look at all that stuff and, and tell you exactly what's wrong with the bike. I can go fix it. You know, if we need to, I can bring it to North Carolina to Mike. But, uh, you know, we can work on the bike and, and uh, you know, in different states, which is amazing. Technology. Oh, it's, it's really amazing. It really, really is. Ultra amazing. Well, we'll let you get back. Oh, look yes, at those sir. sausages. Holy moly. Guys, I'm getting hungry. Warning, oh, we're going to make your good. mouth it water. It smells good, huh? Oh, my Lord. I know where I'm coming for dinner. Yep, that's some delicious uh, boudin from Best Stop in Louisiana. I do, have, I do have a confession to make, too. What's that? When nobody was around last night, I was hungry. <laughs> I took a bag of peanuts. Oh, that's okay. I'm but sorry. I figured you'd be right. okay. Yeah, 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 Thank yeah. you very much. You're sorry. the man. That was dinner right, last hey, night. Hey, look, send them some stars. Yes. Don't forget. Send stars. them some stars. <laughs> you know who really told me to send stars? Who's that? George Bryce. Oh yeah, makes sense, right? Yeah, he's star he's, racing. He was star he's before stars. stars. Yeah, he said send stars before Facebook even. Got yep, started. yep. Before uh, there were stars. There we go. There you go, Jack. Good luck, guys. Let's go see if we can find Tom Sue over here. Excuse me, excuse me. We are getting there. This very lengthy delay, almost done. Let's see if we can go find the motorcycle that caused it all. And we do appreciate everybody who hit up the super chat. Three of you have hit the super chat so far, Mr. Velez. Mr. Nichols and Mr. Reagan. Don't be afraid to hit that super chat, guys. Can you get us over 100 if you haven't hit already? We got some super fans here. Sir, what is your name? Dave Wetlock. And where are you from? Palm Coast, Florida. Do you watch Cycle Drag? I do. I love it. What do you prefer? YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, or TikTok? YouTube. 
YouTube. You're on YouTube Live right now. Who else do we have here? Brian Kent. Nice to meet you. Where are you from? Thompson, Georgia. I love it. Do you watch Cycle Drag? Nope. Well, now you're on Cycle Drag. So awesome. when you go I'll home, check, check out. out Cycle Drag YouTube. We got it. So you're not subscribed? No. Well, please hit subscribe. We're on the march to 250,000. Thank really you very good. much. I appreciate you guys. Just like that, we found ourselves a new subscriber. Where did Tom Sue go? Has anybody seen Tom Sue? Yes, it is. The Gen 3 boosters. Team Street Kings enjoying themselves. Has anybody seen Tom Sue? Where's he at? STFU, the man who oiled the racetrack. All right, thank you. I think he's down here a little ways. I thought he was closer. I must have. I think I, I think it's been so long since the last time we saw him, I lost my bearings. Here's the STFU motorcycle. Here it is, guys. Here is the culprit. The culprit. This is why you're not watching racing right now because of this motorcycle. Unfortunately. But look, he's got it all cleaned up. Where's Tom Sue at? He's hiding in the trailer, huh? There he is. We were wondering if you were hiding. Yeah. Tom Sue, uh, pretty guilty, feel guilty about that. Certainly not your fault, but this has snowballed. I think the track crew accidentally took the wrong approach because of that. This has turned into a 110 minute oil down. Damn it. But we're getting there. We're not sure. I, I think that the first time they tried it, they couldn't get anything up. So um, they used the Clorox and the drag. I told them it could only be a maximum of five quarts, right? Yes, maximum. Actually, I think it was two. Two quarts. But that was all the way from here. I rode on the grass all the way back, too. That was an adventure as well. I bet. I bet. Everything okay on the motorcycle? Yeah. I see you got it all buttoned up and cleaned up. Yeah. What'd yeah. you clean it up with? Uh, two cans of brake cleaner and just a bunch of rags and stuff. Keeping it nice, that's for sure. Yeah. So, now, where okay. where are you based out of? Where's your shop? Lafayette, Louisiana. Okay, so when we go to Gulfport, how far is that for you? About three hours. Not too bad. But I go I go there. I've been there several times. All right. So we'll be looking forward to that one, and maybe you could still in the hunt for a championship here, right? Yeah, still. So we got a no lot at that. stake here tonight. Yeah. Well, we hope to get this round in soon. You're ready for round two. You can I'm, still I'm make ready. Yeah, I'm ready. You can make tail in round one if you wanted to. <laughs> Sorry about your luck, but at least you're making it in. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah. All right, buddy. Hey, Mikey T hitting us with a super chat. And also, somebody hit us with a super chat before that. Mikey T and R.W. Dukes. If you are enjoying all of Jack's work, hit the super chat now. We are one penny, one penny away from hitting $100. Thank you guys so much. And I think Mark might have some updated info for us. Mark was just down. Mark, perhaps the longest two-quart oil down in the history of drag racing. Um, what did you see down there? What happened? Well, I found an oil filter, a breather. Breather? Um, yeah, there was a breather. Was that yours? No, but it wasn't mine. And three quarts of oil. So it's, um, they're almost done with it. We got an EPA truck coming to suck it all up, and uh, they're going to be running in about 15, 20 minutes. 15, 20 minutes. Excellent. Yep. Now, as a racer, do you... Do you have any resentment for the individual who caused the oil down, or is that just something that maybe uh, you let? I think he did it on purpose because he needed to fix something, so he wanted a little bit of time between rounds, so he just unloosened it a little bit. I thought a night race would be better anyway. Yeah, he's waiting for the track to cool down a little bit, yeah. so uh, altitude's going down some, so uh, it should work out for us. I sure should. Well, the way we're going, we're headed for a night race. Thank yes, you sir. so much, guys. We are continuing on. I think the iPhone is getting hot here in the sun, 111 minutes. As we work, oh, I'll tell you what smells good, and that is the barbecue. My goodness, what is for supper over here, guys? You got this this lovely lady cooking up some amazing creations. I know you've had a rough day. You have had a rough day, my friend. I am very sorry. We're still live. And ladies and gentlemen, hold on, we gotta say thank you to somebody. Daniel Neitzel, can you say thank you to Daniel Neitzel? Thank you. Daniel, say it one more time, I'm sorry. Thank you. Daniel, Daniel. Neitzel. Neitzel, you the man. 
Daniel Nightsold hitting our super chat. Daniel, I might have money to go get myself a hot sausage. Daniel just hit us with $100 on the super chat. Thank you so much, Daniel Nightsold. I appreciate you greatly. And we got this fine gentleman over here, drag racing aficionado. Could you please introduce yourself to Cycle Drag YouTube? Barry, one of the twins. Barry, one of the twins. Have you ever seen an oil down this long? No. For three quarts of oil? No. I thought it was two bikes or something, but it's just one. It's just one. It's just one. All right, did you win your first round of competition? We don't want to talk about that. <laughs> Are you still in any class? I'm still in. I, bro I broke out. Okay. So you'll be coming up here in just a little bit. Yeah, I'm still in both, both classes. Well, we're almost there. We'll keep rolling with it. Phone's starting to act a little funny. I'm a little bit worried. I'm a little bit worried that we may have to charge up. I told you I wanted to stay with you guys for this first round. And uh, Michael B. Land firing up the motorcycle. That's a good sign. Let's get you back to the lanes. That's a real good sign, guys. We're three likes away from 200 likes. We're one more super chat away from breaking the 200 mark. Can somebody help get us there? Thank you so much. We do want to shout out all of our super chatters coming through with major gas money. I'm going to be able to get home tonight because of, you know, Steve Nichols was in the pool position. Steve's awesome. Max ECU. Daniel Neitzel comes over, knocks him out of the number one spot, throws down a big 100. Steve still got him overall because Steve did 95 on Facebook, 50 here. Steve, thank you so much. Too generous. We appreciate even one penny. We appreciate it, guys. Uh, also, we got to say thank you to Mikey T coming in with 4.99. RW Dukes coming in with five bucks. Says if you enjoy Jack's show, hit the super chat now. I like that. Mr. Velez and Mr. Reagan are super chatters. And we need one more super chatter to break the 200 mark, ladies and gentlemen. Wait a minute, did somebody just come in with a super chat again? Hold on. Daniel Knight's on again! Oh. Daniel, hold on. Daniel Neitzel. Don't challenge Daniel Neitzel. He takes the number one spot. $200 on the super chat. Mike, could you do me a favor? Could you say thank you to Daniel Neitzel? Thank you, Daniel. And also thank you to Steve Nichols. Steve Nichols was the number one super chat qualifier. Daniel Neitzel just dropped 100 down on the super chat. I got gas money home. How's that work? He just dropped a hundred into Google. I don't know where it goes. Hopefully it ends up to me and not give you a hundred dollars for talking on YouTube. Just for talking. And so did Steve Nichols of Max ECU. I gotta get a channel. That's right. He's gotta get a channel. Now, now I just lost Mike off my channel. Thank you guys so much. Honestly, appreciate it greatly. Every penny helps. As you guys know, I spend a few bucks on the road, spend a few bucks on those decals and every single penny helps. I hope you guys don't mind, but I, I might need to stop at the car and get a, get a drink. I mean, this is, like I said, guys, I don't, I want to keep it positive, sunshine and rainbows, but the fact of the matter is this, a cleanup of this magnitude should never take this long, never. You're talking almost two hours they've been down right now. Um, they made a serious mistake. They made a serious mistake, but they're going to correct it. It's going to be safe, but hopefully the crew learns from this moving forward. I know the owner of this track is a drag racing veteran. Uh, and they got the equipment, which I don't get. I mean, I think I've seen Rockingham Dragway back in the day with a couple of brooms and, and magic dust. But uh, unfortunately, the heat, everything was just not on their side today. But look at this. It looks like we're getting close. It looks like... Are we there? All right. They say big spray it and we're done. Whew. I did not bargain for this. But I hope you got, I enjoy spending my Saturday with you. I just hope I have enough battery to go the distance. And excuse me, I have got to jump into my rental car. Thank you very much. The super chat money is going straight for the rental car. That's about what the rental car was this weekend. I rental cars turned into one of the biggest expenses. And then we got our water. We got our gift from Mrs. Kathy Woodall. Shout out to you. She made me a very nice blanket. It was beautiful. Whoo, the car's about a thousand degrees. Excuse me for one second, guys. Is it okay to get a get a sip here? Woo! 
That's much better. That's much, much better. Thank you. Also, we're going to top that off with a Diet Mountain Dew. So I ask you, are you drinking along with us? I know Daniel Neitzold, our number one super chatter out there, says he likes to drink moonshine while watching Cycle Drag. Well, I can tell you what I like to drink while watching Cycle Drag. First, water, and then my guilty pleasure, a little Diet Dew. A little Diet Dew here. So we'll continue to walk around the pits. We'll get you ready. Are you guys okay? Would you guys want me to stop this broadcast and come back, or you want me to stay live? They say we're getting closer. It has been one heck of a live stream here, that's for sure. I lost my my headphones. Uh-oh. I lost my... There's my earplugs. I don't want to lose these because I cannot cover drag racing without at least my foamies. It's very loud up there. If you guys have never experienced one, we hope you get a chance to join us live. I gave you my schedule the next few weeks of where we'll be. We hope to see you there. Somebody mentioned SDBA. Love SDBA. We were at the very first SDBA. Really helped shout out SDBA a lot, and that's a great group of racers. You got to contact Brian Dale and Sonny Vic and tell them, hey, guys, bring Cycle Drag in. If they want to bring Cycle Drag in, we will make it happen. They have started their own channel, which we applaud, which is awesome. You know, we think Cycle Drag can also add to that. So make sure you tell those guys, bring Cycle Drag to your races. A lot of their racers have commented and said, man, we miss you out there. And we hope to get back. We wish everyone well, every series well. And we are getting close. Look at that awesome Team Honda shirt by this young lady. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. We're getting there. I've been down here saying, where's Spencer? <laughs> hey, you need to go try some of Jeremy's food. Well, I saw him cooking. He's not oh. done yet, is he? Oh, it's done. It's done? Oh, man. I'm trying to get myself a that, Diet Mountain Dew. That Doom. stuff is phenomenal. We're going to have to go get some jambalaya. Uh, we, need, we need a Mountain Dew sponsorship. Hell yeah. You better get up there. Track ready. <laughs> I I guess track that's ready. We came back. I'll go. I'll go around. And, uh, after I spank your ass, I'm going back. To oh me. man, they're going at it in first round. Hey, every time him and I've raced, it was or he beat me by .02 of a second last time. Yeah. Tight. Well, have either one of you ever experienced sitting in the leather this long, being ready to go? Yeah, my home track's a, not this it's long. A, it's a. Uh -huh. I'm not gonna say it, but it's it's a bad show. Triple LS cars. Hoping I got enough juice here to stay live for you guys. If not, we're gonna have to make this two broadcasts. We want to see your epic showdown coming up. We gotta be getting close though. We gotta be getting close. Tractor coming off. They said they just needed a little bit more spray. Everybody having a good time. Is this young lady having a good time? I am. She is. She's got her boots on. Uh oh, this is a good sign. Here comes the track crew. Guys, I think we might have, I think, I think we might have waited it out. My phone's acting weird. I hope it doesn't shut off at any given time. But I think we're close. Here comes the spray. That's it. That's it, guys. We weathered this storm. We're going back racing. If they got the, if they got the sprayers out, we better get on a PA and call these guys back to the lanes. I gotta find out what the temp is. What's the temperature out here right now, you guys think? Anybody got their iPhone where they can check the temp? Because it's. Yes, sir, but you don't talk about Let's see what maybe one of the talented Mr. Frick. 75 degrees, Reynolds, Georgia. That's crazy. What's the humidity level right now? Because it feels so much hotter than 75. If it's 75 out in Cali, you can almost be wearing like long sleeves, right? Here, whoo! Humidity, guys. Humidity. But it feels good. It's a nice day. And we got motorcycles coming back to the lanes. And the big question is, who's going to win? To Wayne, Guy or Spitzmiller? Spitzmiller or Guy? G, I'm so, thank you. Gosh, I'm, I'm going to remember it like you're a G. You're a gangster. Most people can't even say my last name, and he gets right at Spitzmiller. The problem is confusing you with your brother. That's why I called you Mr. Spitzmiller. That's one of my secrets. I lied.
That's true. He's on a strike. Yeah, John Deere thing. He's the one that negotiates your contract. Oh, wow. <laughs> so you got his room, actually. I appreciate it. If they're done, we'll be in golf court. Cotton I told gym. him I wasn't going to go, but if he can go. So if he's on strike, he can't go? He's a negotiator. So oh. he, works, he works for UAW, oh. he doesn't work for John Deere. I tried getting to say he had COVID. Tell me you're COVID. Yeah, and then Jack gets me on. It's yeah. Like the <laughs> All week, we're running in front of him. <laughs> I would like to let everybody watch and know this too. If something happens here, if the speed goes down, we'll be live again on CycleDrag.com Facebook. Kind of wishing we started on CycleDrag.com Facebook because I would have just tuned off. But like I said, it was nice spending my Saturday with all my friends here on YouTube and the generosity of Daniel Knights, old Steve Nichols and everybody is just off the charts. Thank you guys so much. We appreciate everybody hitting up that super chat. How did we get to 300 on the nose too? Somebody must have done 100 and a penny or somebody must have sent a penny because we were 99 for a long time. We're trying to hang in there for you. This has been uh, a serious, serious oil down there, that's for sure. Let's hope it's smooth sailing and clean from here on out. Good news for me, I do not have an early flight tomorrow. So we can take our time, relax. If the racing goes late, we'll cover it for you. Have you guys checked out Cycle Drag Instagram and Cycle Drag TikTok yet? We've also got content up there for you as well. You know, oh, the stabilizer might be done. Jeremy, somebody was saying, you gotta go eat Jeremy's food. I said, it's not done, he just started. They said, yeah. no, he's already done. No, we're not done. Somebody, I think Spitz Miller was saying no, you, you already- You can't listen to Spitz Miller. He was just trying to get rid of me. I said that, yeah. that jambalaya yeah. is gonna take a little yeah. longer than no, me. Yeah, no, yeah, it's gonna be a few minutes. We're, uh, you know, we. <laughs> I just started trying to cook while we were waiting for this uh, oil down to, um, to get cleaned up. Now it's uh, all cleaned up, we're ready to rock and roll. Go time. Good things take time. Uh, yep. We're ready to go. That's good, guys. Cycle Drag YouTube, I want to know in the comments who's been watching since the beginning and has stuck with us through this entire 125 minute marathon. I, the comments did go away. Somebody might have fallen asleep. You fell asleep on the couch on a Saturday, like everyone should be doing. How many people are taking a nap on the couch right now? Because some people. Six people working, watching it, watching it work? I could be watching it work. Let's hope we're not My hurt. employees better not be watching it work. We don't want to get anybody in trouble. We don't want to get anybody fired. But we do appreciate every single one of our viewers. And the question is, you know, the lovely Alicia was able to get a little bit of a break. She was able to get, you were able to get a little bit of a break. What'd you Absolutely. do? What'd you do with your break? Um, just chilled. Rested my feet. Rested your feet? Rested my feet. Looked on your phone? Absolutely. That's cool. All right, again, That's cool. Guys, well, let's see. I wonder what Brenda did during her break. Time to go back to racing finally. So was it the Clorox that did the trick? Clorox, glue, gold dust, a lot of dragon, a little bit of everything. All right, let's hope we're clean from here on out. Thank you for your hard work. Thank Vinny for his hard work. It's the, everybody here. It ain't everybody. just me. Everybody. What is the owner's name again? Anthony. Anthony. A Anthony, Cat, the Persico family. I see Anthony and Cat right there. There's Anthony. There's Cat. Right. Off the racetrack, ready to go. Well, guys, good news. Steve, Ni is Steve Nichols still watching with us? Well, what did I do? Did I turn on my live? I turned off my live chat comments. How about that? Sometimes I think you guys go to sleep, and then it's my fault because I turned on super chat to thank the super chat commenters. So apparently, I missed a lot. Dipstar was here and enjoyed it. Killmaster watching college football. Anything big going on in the college football world? Steve Nichols is sleeping. World of Antoine Smith says hello. Road Glide Robinson's there. Daniel Neitzel's drinking shine. Ta Tony V's been there since the beginning. R.W. Dukes was the first like and is still with us. 
Steve V's been watching from the beginning. Miss CC's been watching from the beginning. All right, guys, finally, I don't know how much this phone's got left, but we're gonna try to give it everything we got. We're ready to go back racing. And as I said before, whether you're watching this live or on demand, please subscribe, please get a friend to subscribe. We're on the march to 250. So Echo Racing sends in $5. I think I butchered your name. S-U-I, Sukiko, Suiko Racing. Suikio, you're gonna have to give me a pronouncer, Suikio, but thank you very much, I do appreciate you. As we get ready to go. Alicia's ready to get back to work. She got to chill, got to rest for a little bit. Perry Paws back in the lanes. Mr. Velez still watching with us. Mike Baker. Mike Baker hitting us up with 20 on the Super Chat. Thank you very much, Mike Baker. I appreciate it. You guys are going to make this a record-breaking Super Chat broadcast. I mean, I'm talking airline ticket territory, 325. Thank you guys so much helping me pay some travel bills. You guys are the greatest. And look at this. We've got A1 Mike and we've got Jeremy lined up. Miss Cece says you do an exceptional job. Thank you, Miss Cece. So, uh, the pronouncer is it's so sui suiko suiko. Let me see that one more time. I'm sorry. I read a book one time. We want to thank it's s o o would be so i siko so i siko so i siko. How's that? So i siko. I hope so. Old Miss going's at it. Tony V flying first class. Let's not go that crazy yet. Have you looked at the prices from American Airlines? They're a little bit ridiculous. Here we go, guys. We made it. Cycle Drag Universe, we made it. We weathered the storm. We made it through the oil down. We're back running. Let's go. Let's go. Miss Cece sends us on. Thank you so much. Is. Everybody watching, you made it this far. Let's get a game of right lane, left lane going. You got a comment, right lane or left lane? First one to ten is going to win. Mr. Frick taking on this orange motorcycle over here. Side goes 948, 144. Frick has problems. Runs through the dust at the far end. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. One of our marquee matchups coming up. We promised the first round. We're gonna give you the You can see they still got some dust down there. Kicks up the dust, right side takes the win. Super Psycho. And now, Justice versus B-Land. Team A 
Okay, square off in round one. Justice out of drag me twin. an hour justice goes 990 b land absolutely absolutely flying did we lose the stabilizer we might be losing our stabilizer here guys and here comes victor gote shout out to all my friends in california watching miles an hour left side goes 12 76 and here comes the Michigan madman Demi are you guys loving the fact that we're back to racing have you liked this video yet thank you guys for making this a record-breaking super chat video holy moly 350 could be could make it to 400 if everybody chips in a little bit you guys are the greatest we might have gas money out of here thousand foot track this is a quarter mile track 1408 at 91 miles an hour I think we're going back into pro ET Tony V says I deserve it thank you very much Tony V I appreciate you greatly no place I'd rather be having a wonderful time I might have to stick around tomorrow for the motocross races I'll tell you I might be coming back Hot street. Here we go. Airlines this year. I think 
$6,000 with National Rental Car. I don't, want to, I don't even want to tell you my hotel bill. Traveling is expensive and it's because of great super chatters that I can do it. So thank you guys. gentlemen is this mark frick coming up mark frick looking for the first hot street eight in official competition in eliminations i should say courtesy of maxis Steve Nichols, what did you see on that one? That's coming off an eight second pass. Still gets the win. Paul Wall and Digger sending 499. Thank you guys so much. Digger, I'm telling you, I appreciate even that. I appreciate you, man. That's a can of monster energy at the airport. Thank you very much, my friend. And thank you, Paul Wall. They hit up our super chats. Appreciate you guys hitting that super chat. Joe Gillies, five and two. As we continue on here, ladies and gentlemen. We got more fast Harley racing. Now this is what's cool. I got a story for you. have been live for 141 minutes. We love all of our super chatters. We've shouted you out. One of our super chatters is racing right now, Chuck Reagan. Can we all get a let's go Chuck in the comments for sending us a super chat? Let's go Chuck. Sweetest thing ever. He yes. did send us 20 on the super chat, too. What a nice guy. Yeah, he's a super nice Thank guy. Thank you very Thank much, you. Mom. We'll see you next round. Yes. How about that? Good karma for our super chatters. Steve Nichols super chatted us. His guy wins. Chuck Reagan super chats us. He wins. Just saying, guys. Good karma. Good karma. Suzuki Hayabusa here. It's a clean bike. I like it. I don't know what's going on with this rectifier down here. Seems like it's barely hanging on. Got the Brox pipe. It's looking. Randall's helping him. All right, everybody. Right lane or left lane. Again, thank you so much to our super chatters. Getting us close to 400. This is a record-breaking broadcast. I think 400 is the all-time record. We might hit it. Uh-oh, Tom V's questioning if Robert is really 6-0. Robert, be careful. We do have spies that watch the comments and make sure you're playing by the rules. They'll keep you honest.
Neitzel! Oh. Daniel Neitzel! Daniel Neitzel! Daniel! No! Everybody in the comments, everybody. Daniel Neitzel, unbelievably generous, hits us with another 100. Can everybody in the comments please thank Daniel Neitzel? He's the reason. Guys like him, guys like all of our super chatters. Look at this, we might need a new stabilizer. Our stabilizer's about done. Uh, thank you, Daniel Neitzel. You are the man. Everybody, thank you, Daniel. Thank you, Daniel. Daniel showed up at a race. I got him a shirt. He tried to buy it. I said, no, 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 no. I owe you a shirt. Daniel, you are the man, my friend. Thank you very much. Appreciate you greatly, Steve Nichols, saying thank you, Daniel, as well. Wow, you guys are great. Holy moly. Never thought. This is just how you never understand social media, too. We pop on. I was... I was very disappointed that we had that lengthy oil down. I wanted to just show you guys racing, 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 but maybe this will be one of our more interesting live streams. We talked to a lot of people. We told a lot of stories. Maybe it's working out. Thank you guys so much, Daniel. You are the man. Daniel, I owe you a steak. Next time you come to a race, Daniel, and you get some downtime, we got to go out to dinner. Pass the tab to me. I got you on this one, brother. By that time, Ariel will have her baby. A couple more months. Killmaster says in Ringle, Georgia, top end, left side, 888. Uh, Killmaster, again, you got to get a hold of Sonny Vic, Brian Dale, give them hashtag bring cycle drag in. We want cycle drag there. They'll hear your cries and they'll bring us in. That's what we want to do. We cover all motorcycle drag racing. We've been busy though. We've been on the road every weekend since July 4th. Like I said, best live stream ever. Big words from Stephen McKay. Daniel says, be careful. You've met me. Well, <laughs> it's like, I like to eat too, Daniel. Don't worry. We'll go get a couple steaks. Paul. Euricio, Pro Bagger 77 hitting us up on the super chat. Thank you very, very much. Skilled Landon 2 says Cycle Drag. You guys are way too generous. I think there's a chance we could break 500 if this keeps up. You will get a shout out on the super chats. You guys want to see some more racing? I don't know how much the old phone's got left in it, but I'll stay with you. <laughs> right lane or left lane. Comes one of the twin brothers out of Team Gadsden versus Perry Paul. We got Barry Purnell right side. Let's see, Dipstar says, if we could be at a hog's gone, we would have been walking around talking to everybody. Well, that's what we want to do. We want to make you feel like you're here. And I promise you, next year we got some big things coming.
Uh, interesting match up here. Oh boy. We got this stretched Hayabusa taking on everybody's favorite sportster racer, Casey Smith. Casey's been red hot, fresh off a double. Joe Kowalski sends us 20. Thank you, Joe. Right lane chases him down. I want to send a big thank you to Joe Kowalski. Joe Kowalski, thank you very much for sending us. You guys were sixteen dollars away from Big Five. If you like this Honda Rebel and what this Honda Rebel's doing, we need sixteen more bucks to break a record. Oh, is your dial wrong? Dialing wrong. Good catch, that's what a smart racer needs yeah, to do. That's right, man, you gotta make sure they're right. So we go from a 727 to a 19. 19 get out and get small, good luck. Yes, Let's go Honda Rebel. Who wants the underdog? Let's see if we can get out there. They're gonna change the dial in. Some drag races, you can't even uh, have a dial in 19 seconds, they cap it. Who thinks the Honda Rebel's gonna win? Here we go. Gentlemen, we got more super chat. No, no. Daniel, not Knights Old. Because of that super chat, Daniel, I think you willed that Honda to victory. Daniel likes the Rebel. Because of you, Daniel, that underdog won. Also, got to say thank you to Miss CC. You guys are the best. Miss CC, Joe Kowalski, Daniel Knights Old. Unbelievable, my man. Everybody, everybody who's super chatter, we just need to find a spot in the pits, put out a table, we'll put Daniel Neitzold at the head of the table, we'll get him some shine, we'll get him a T-bone. I'll tell you where the best steaks are too that we can buy at Costco. I'll buy you some Costco fillets. I owe you, Daniel, I owe you a steak. Good matchup, coming up. guys so much you guys are the greatest playing right lane left lane with me let me oh see what i did i forgot to hit my live chat again vic angle vic have you been watching us the whole time i hope you're not eating your girlfriend's cupcakes again vic says his girlfriend makes the best cupcakes she made him like five or six cupcakes he ate them all don't get a stomach ache vic but enjoy your sweet treat
right side. Alicia Williams sends money for Henry Chark. Alicia Williams, Henry Chark. Chopper man. X14. Hit that super chat up if you like the chopper man. tough day for Ken Kobe. Two red lights, but I do believe he's going to buy back in at least one of the classes. Uh, yeah, let me thank my super chatters again. Alicia Williams, Paul Uricio, Miss CC, Daniel Neitzold, Joe Kowalski, Paul Uricio, our last six super chatters. You guys are the greatest. Um, hear me on this one. Hear me on this one, guys. What do you think? We take all that super chat money one of these days, we pick a race, and we have a big cycle drag super fan barbecue. Everybody will be invited. We'll go to Costco. We'll buy some groceries with the money. Daniel gets the best filet money can buy. Everybody, you know, if you gave two bucks, it might, it might just be broccoli and chicken breast. That's not bad, right? But everything is appreciated. I say, Daniel, we have ourselves a barbecue in one of these races. Steve Nichols can come. Skilled Landon. I know, he's... Got to get that red light under control. Big burnout for Jason Cruz. Here comes Smith once again. He got a prime rib. Steak and lobsters. Gets the win, 955, takes out Smith. Lizard's Den says you're not trying to get red light, but those racers will tell you they do not want to see that red one come on. set an over under so that one's no action let me see with all of my competitors that were playing the 10 game who's got the best record right now who has got the best record all of our super chatters you guys are the greatest steve nichols got the party started max ecu with a 50 spot daniel neitzel comes in with i don't four hundred dollars daniel neitzel i'm taking you out to dinner next time we go and more, I, I, I owe you some shine, I owe you anything. All of my super chatters, like I said, if you send a dollar or two dollars, you help us guys, you help our travel budget. I know uh, one of the gentlemen, Digger on there was saying, hey, you're good for it, I'm telling you guys, $14,000 in counting with American Airlines this year, crisscrossing the country, but it's been worth every single penny. 
to collect this content, to have this body of work out there, to have these amazing moments that are gonna live on. It's like Jimmy McMillan told me, Top Fuel Harley racer, he rides Drums Brancaccio's bike. And unfortunately, Drums is one of the many racers who's no longer with us, who we miss. Jimmy gave me a great compliment. He said, you know what, Jack? He said, you're archiving this stuff and it's gonna be there after he's gone, after I'm gone, and that's what we want. That's what we want. We want these great accomplishments to live on. Born Again Digger says you should come to Heartland Park. That is one track I have never been to. Steve says, awesome job. Thank you so much, guys. Appreciate you greatly. All you guys who hit the super chat, 634.96. That is a new cycle drag record. Our last super chatter was Alicia Williams. Thank you so much, Alicia Williams. Appreciate you greatly. If you guys can help me out, make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you've liked this video. Get one friend to subscribe. Can you get one friend to sub? One friend who does not know about us or more. Share it in a chat group, Facebook group, chat group. What is this, 99? Facebook group, TikTok, Twitter, Pinterest, anything. We want to hit 250,000 subs, but we're getting close. Right lane or left lane? Smoke gets it done, baby. Wow. Street kings are nothing. Off with their heads, baby. Street you know? off their heads. Hammer, how fulfilling is that to go see Smoke? I love it. I they love it. They were talking a little bit I... about Smoke online this week, weren't yeah, they? Yeah, so where's that Stymie guy? I guess we got to find him now, right? Stymie. All right. They're looking for you. Yeah, we're here. Think we're coming for him, too. Yeah. Call out Go for Mississippi. Uh -oh. We own it. We'll see you there. <laughs> Don't poke the bear. Remember, they got a raffle. Street Kings, make sure you get in it. Guys, love hanging out with you. We're going to show you a couple more races. Thank you to all of my great super chatters. Make sure you're following us on CycleDrag.com. Facebook, we do this. CycleDrag Instagram, CycleDrag TikTok, and right here on CycleDrag YouTube. We're going to be live again tonight, probably on CycleDrag.com. Facebook. We've got Usher coming up. More racing coming your way. You super chatters are awesome, guys. Be a friend. Tell a friend. We absolutely love it. We love it when you share this after we post it on demand. Expose the motorcycle drag racing to the rest of the world. a burnout my friends that is a burnout let's take it. what do you say with a little Kawasaki Suzuki showdown by the way YouTube we release about three videos a week make sure you watch them all we go live when we can
first shift, left lane takes the win. Sorry about that, Ariel. <laughs> Guys, wish Ariel well. He's coming very, very soon. That was 165 minutes of live stream. You guys are the best. Thank you to my super chatters. This is a good one to put on in the shop over the off season because it was so long. Thank you guys dearly. If you like that video, here's another one for you. Subscribe right in the middle. We'll see you on cycletrack.com Facebook. Do you know if there's anything fast motorcycles, we are in. Victor Gautier, that Gen 3 boost is a bad idea, a bad ombre, an awesome bike. All right, now we're going to wrap, so let's do it again. Thank you guys for watching. God bless each and every one of you. We'll see you later on CycleDrag.com Facebook. If you like this video, here is another one for you. Subscribe right in the middle. You know if there's anything fast motorcycles, we're in. Thank you, Super Chatters. Cycle Drag rolls on.